Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Oh, lucky bastard. You've been sarcastic or something, my man. Told you should never mix your drinks. <laughs> what well, are you retarded? I'm going to have to take this abuse much longer. You're a fool. You're a fool. You're a fool. <laughs> Oh, well, that's what we call diarrhea. You think this is a fucking joke? This ain't Kevin Cameron. There's no Asian cameras. Oh, shit, I'm saying fuck. Oh, fuck, I'm saying shit. Fuck your arse. Get a weapon collector's arse. I could knock him out in the shape. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. I want a gunfire. I'm a pistol. I'm a gunfire. I'm a gunfire. Stop it, please. For God's sake, please stop it. There's no more time. Is that why you were here? You know, everyone, welcome back to it. Yes, and this one goes out to all the bed shitters, which is Z, not Z, the dropped DIY specialist, and my queen, metallic reality. You're doing in so early. Shit the bed. Ah, you're right, mother. Oh, I'm drinking something a bit special tonight. I may need to get my glasses out to read. I'm going to call this Carpakey because <laughs> I'm a bit paranoid about saying that word. Um, Neo Reps, how you doing, mate? He said, even from Cyprus, over the small water from Israel, Iran just sent a strike. Uh, gonna be a fun weekend. Fucking hell, yeah. Well, I hope you're all right, mate. That's a bit scary, isn't it? Um, hang on. I've never tried this booze before. Drop said, first time we've seen you in a shirt. Well, black. Do you know what, Dropped? I was thinking that myself. I bet you lot didn't even know I had fucking light-coloured shirts, did you? That's actually partly why I wore it, Dropped. But I should be wearing this one to start. Metallic don't like this one. Yes. No, I never wear a light shirt, do I? So, yeah, I, I partly deliberately kept it on just for that, Dropped. Barney, he said, I've tried it, and it's... Strong, there's some strong shit. Nice. Yeah, £1.70. Fucking great price. <coughs> Drop said, no quill on the rocks. Ha <laughs> ha, for when you're sick and so sick of it. Yeah, sick but sociable, exactly. Yeah, how you doing, Barney? You're right. Pepe, how you doing, mate? Mama said, not going to happen to Cyprus. Nothing's going to happen to Cyprus. Um, no I suppose I used to drink five of them. Pass out is very strong tasting, but it does the job. Yeah, I bought four and a small bottle of vodka. I am going to go easy on them because I do want a, you know, a, a reasonably late evening. But I need to look at the how many units are there? In there? If you don't know what this shirt is, well, I'm a bit disappointed with your fucking glasses. Ah. 4.5 units, so that's oh, 18 units with just them, and then last no, so I got about 31 units. I've even look at this, I've even got fucking um blue jeans on. Look at that. Who the fucking who the funk it? <laughs> yeah, look at me changing my fucking image. I don't always wear black. It's just my my um my merchandise stuff's black. Yeah, cheers, Iron Man. Yeah, I couldn't fucking see it without my glasses on. I can't see close up shit anymore. Um, it's annoying. Small writing. I can, most, virtually everything's all right apart from small writing. So yeah, hope you lot are all right. Yeah, I won't be going mental on these. I'm going to try and have a late night tonight, as in a five o'clocker. So I will have to pace myself drinking it. Hopefully, it tastes all right. If not, I'll just drink the vodka first, and when I'm pissed, I won't care anyway. The new James Bond. Hmm. I would say... I hope that don't make my lips sore. I'd say that tastes... Like a very strong alcohol, um, but weak flavoured Guinness, almost. You're right, Peach. Um, that's not bad, though. Drinkable. I've got an allergy to some booze. <laughs> Dear wise person, you won't see anything in an hour. 
or so. Yeah, well, it's quite a nice colour on it, though. Look at that. The doctor said booze logic. I'll wait till I'm pissed so I can't taste it. Started. Well, if it's horrible, if it's horrible. You know what I mean? That's all right, though. I don't mind it. I don't know how to describe it. It's got an ever so slight Guinnessy sort of taste, but not. I don't know how the fuck you'd even describe that. It's how are you, like, anyway? You're right. Looks like my pee. Yeah, not far off. Not quite as dark and not as many floating bits in it. Floating bits is your piss is a very weird phenomenon. I didn't expect that when that fucking happened to me. pound seventy those cans are. Um, fucking, um... Special brews, £2.30. Yeah, high, yeah, near, yeah, high malt. Yeah, I think that is what it is. It's a malt taste. Thank you. Yeah, that is a good way to describe it. Thank you. Yeah, malt taste. Ain't bad, though. I don't mind it. Oh, nice one, Peach. Well, Peach and my, the two people I know who are definitely drinking right now <coughs> are Peach and um, Metallic. So, cheers. Cheers to who will one day be Sir Peach. <coughs> um, Piggy, how you doing, mate? You said hello, weapon collector. Hello, metallic weapon collector. Did you did mess did manage to get any? Did I manage to get an anti walking stick? If you plan on selling the modded ones, how much would you sell them for? Not sure at the minute. Uh, I haven't got one yet, though. I'll probably order it Monday if if I've got the you know if I can afford it. Okay. Yeah, all paint do exactly near it. Iron Man said it's fucking rough. Polish tank or that's how I describe it. And the hangover, oh, you're in for a surprise. <laughs> Is it going to be a bad one? Uh, all right, Metallic, you'll get their piece tomorrow then till about um, maybe nine o'clock at night. But yeah, I certainly don't mind it. I'm a little bit paranoid. As I said, Certain things make my lips sore. So Guinness definitely does it. Um, I think either Budweiser does it, but Foster's don't. A lot, most beers don't. Um, brown bread doesn't make my lips sore, but white bread does. And certain ones, horrendous. <sighs> Max, how you doing? He said, we're watching a couple of your videos on the train back from a little trip away to Norfolk. Great videos and good advice. Keep up the keep it up. Oh, thank you, Max. I appreciate that, mate. Yeah. Oh, thank you for watching as well. Yeah, that's good. What are you up to tonight? Drop said, "Do you all do you have that workaround where you can sell um, sell parts of a weapon?" I'm not sure. I don't really know. Block Arts, how you doing? Pete said, "A good pounding <laughs> can make lips laugh. It certainly can. Yes." My man said you will be humping your couch in about an hour. <laughs> Bloody strong stuff. Oh, Richard. Sorry, Rich. How you doing, Richard? Is that Richard Weaponsmith? Max said, is there any way I can donate to you money? You can. You can, um, Max. There's a f The only way I can do it is a thing called coffee. Let me just put up. So in a second, I think called Nightbot will put the donation thing off if you'd like if, if you'd like to do that thank you max i appreciate that or it's in the top of the description it's the only way i can do it because i've been completely demonetized um but also max let me know if you do so i can say thank you and also um play your little video but yeah cheers man i appreciate that it generally does help a lot because my living goes through um is made for youtube and i've been completely demonetized Pete said, watched any of the Fallout TV show yet? Not yet, mate. I am going to. Um, I've been a bit busy. What's it on? What is it on? Is it Amazon? I'll leave that for now. I'll finish the can first. <laughs> a little bit of a reminisce drink. I prefer drinking out of um, cans. Thank you, Max. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've been fucked over, so I can't do any... Um, traditional sort of um donation stuff you can leave me a message if you want yeah the link's in that the it'll be in the chat and in the description richard said yeah it's me i just thought i'd say rich so everyone knew it was you yeah richard that's richard rapp he can't get into his account 
The drop said, just wrapped it this morning, Peach. That's pretty damn good. Um, and, I, and I don't even play it. Did you and Penny watch it? Dro Penny, is Penny with you tonight, Dropped? I wasn't sure she was with you. I thought she'd be with you tonight. Pete said, Dropped, shame you don't play it, but hope it was good. Yeah, I've played at least, I've played three, four, and 76. And New Vegas. So I probably will like it. Looks good. Got some good actors in it. Pepe said, not sure if I'll be on late. It depends how tired I am. I'll be honest with you, Pepe. I think I definitely will be on later. But um, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So it looks like I will be using these tonight. It might be a bad combination. 9% lagers and fucking pro, pro plus caffeine. <sighs> Drop said now she's at her mum's. Oh, that's a shame. I thought she was at yours tonight. How come that's changed then? I thought I'd work this out so that I'd be on when she was about. Ah, oh, well. Doesn't matter. Blockart said, if you've been demonetized, why don't you try kick? You can get paid to £16 an hour streaming. I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, Blockart, I'll check that out. I'll check that out. Did not know that was even a thing. Now, oh, thank you, Max. I appreciate that. I just saw it. Thank you, Max. So... Uh, there you go, here's a little video for you. If you knew the videos, I'd let you pick one. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. I appreciate that. He said, the Max said, a couple of beers. Thank you, mate. I do genuinely appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, you've, you've paid for two of these tonight, then. I appreciate that. And Max, it's people like you that make this true. <laughs> That's the funnest place to be. Cheers, mate. I appreciate it. Deep in the bunker, how you doing, mate? You all right? Dad said, Richard, you're trying to confuse me, aren't you? Drop said, she she would have, but they both were sick last weekend, so the schedule got fired. Ah, fair enough. I thought that's what happened. Well, not that, but I thought maybe something had messed up. You know what I mean? Matt, how you doing, mate? I did get your email. I didn't have time to reply to They've been weirdly busy. Matt said, evening, Mike. I'm a bit pissed. Daytime spring barbecue with the old girlfriend. Matt, I'm with an old girlfriend. <laughs> How you doing, Matt? You're right. Are you, you gonna be able to come on like this? I'm on these tonight. I'm gonna go easy on them. I ain't gonna get mad on them because I do want to do a late night one tonight. But yeah, yeah, I sort of do miss the old. I used to drink nine percent stuff every. Well, yeah, every time I drank. What have you been drinking tonight, then? Matt, if you're too pissed later, like, that's all good, though. I will be... I'll be doing this one till probably half 12. And then about quarter to one, I'll start another one, which will be deleted. And then about an hour after that will be the proper private one. So it's going to be late. Um... But if you wanted to come on here and have a chat, but just remember, if you do come on this one, this will be staying on. You don't have to have your face on. You know, you can always just speak to us. Pepe said, I was going to make a comic book, if you want to know about my deal. Yeah, go on, Pepe. I'm up for that, mate. Yeah, sounds interesting. Block arts. So what is kick, then? I've never actually heard of kick. Kick.com, live streaming, all right. I will bookmark that. That's good, mate. Maybe I could use that when I eventually go back to streaming games. I was streaming on Twitch. Thank you, Block. I've, I've just bookmarked it. <laughs> Dad said, well, I didn't know Metallica was a closet punk. Yeah, well, she didn't know a few things. Yeah, yeah. I think she gets up from her brother. She'll be on like she's I think she's listening. Well she is listening. She's um she's preoccupied at the minute. Deep in the bunk said kick is for gamers who like to get their titties out while comment commentating. I can do that. I can do that, deep in the bunker. I can do that. That's the fucking easy work. Whether anyone would like to look at my titties is, is a different question. 
Max, can you show me the old Sky remote? <laughs> can you see that over there? Nice one. Anytime, mate. Anytime. Anything for you. You do ask me strange requests. There you go. I had to buy myself a new one because my one had packed up. Look at that. That's how I watch my TV through an old um, Sky receiver that's not HD. I can't. I can't even watch BBC One or BBC Two now or any of the BBC channels because they are solely shown in HD, and I can't watch them on my um, Sky receiver. Yeah, that's, a ve that's an old relic, isn't it, Pete? Exactly. Oh, you want to see old relics? Don't get me started. Do you know what this is to? Do you know what that's to? Where's the, where's the writing on it? I'll cover it up. Do you know what that's to, though? Did you ever have one of these? Let's go and Google it. For, for the people who may have never seen one of these, um, let me just go and get the code. Actual, actual make it is. Um, where is it? Oh, look, they still they sell them on fucking out. Uh, um, my god, you wouldn't think anyone would sell this shit. I've still got one of these, by the way. I still use it every day for my surround sound. This is what that remote was to. <coughs> Look at that. Look at that. For all. You want to see old relics? Come to Weapon Collector's channel. <laughs> all right, where am I? Drop said, how many people have a remote with no labels on? But you know every button. I probably would for that one, maybe, and, and my old telly one, but my new telly one, which is the telly that Metallic gave me, I struggle to um, remember the buttons even now. Rita said, can see my can see Mike ranking in the top 10 bears. Ha <laughs> streaming on kick. You know what, Rich? Me and you, you imagine that. No, I don't mean in a sexy way. I mean, you doing your own channel, me doing my, my channel. We'd be top. We'd be, as the um, only fans like to say, 0.1%. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. John said, no need to pay TV license. Well, yeah, technically. Well, yeah, I could say, come up here and look. Yeah, I can't even get the channels. There you go. I've just found the way to get around not paying your dri uh, your fucking drive, like your TV license. Get a fucking Skybox. Then you can't watch any BBC channels. You literally can't watch them because all the BBC channels are um, HD now. Um, Pepe said it's called Savage Retribution, similar to Cannibal Holocaust. A man has his partner murdered by cannibals in the jungle. He then drugs them and sadistically tortures them to death. That sounds really good. That sounds fucking great, Pepe. Do you want to send me like some stuff for that? I'd love to see that. Metallic, my queen, how are you? Nice to see you on. I got your favorite shirt on. Not <sighs> drops of detachable speakers. And always spent way too much time strategically placing the speakers. Look, that's because because I'm a bit deaf. I have to have speakers behind me. So those two speakers are connected to that um, surround sound. Yeah, and then I can actually do the volume while sitting down. Yeah. Rizzo said to Pete, the spam Mike read out on the drunk stream was just otherwise. What did Pete say? Mike's not into the BBC. <laughs> no, Mike's not into BBC. <laughs> that's so. Yes, those who know, know. A knob not, Pete. Um, Blockhart said, Webber, do you own a Dan Wesson 6-inch or 8-inch? Um, not a Dan Wesson, I don't know. I'm looking to buy No, I don't. Where's my fucking revolver? That's not up there. Hang on, hang on. I've just realised. Oh, no. The closest I've got to anything like that, I won't be able to show you it properly. Uh, it's right under here. It's, uh, now I can't show you. I've got a a eight inch barrel um, CO two revolver. Iron Man said, "Have you seen that horror movie called Men?" I fucking have, Iron Man. That's fucking mental, isn't it? That is a mental, bizarre film. Yeah, I. What did you think of it? I, I don't know about the actual like politics of it, if you know what I mean. But um, 
for a proper weird surreal fucking film proper bizarre Barney said, remember TVs, you put 50p in. Yeah, yeah, the old 50p's in the old tellies or, and the old gas meter. You have to put a pound in the gas meter, 50p's in the electric. Tellies that add 50p fucking things in. Metallic, uh, Metallic said, Metallic wants a Ugandan watchdog. <laughs> oh, mother, we watched, um, we watched Bad Black today. Pepper says, sure, I just need to get off my ass and start drawing it first. I've got it all planned out in my head. Um, just have to make it. Pepper, I would love to, if you sent me some pictures of it, I'd, I'd love to see that. Sounds fucking excellent. Max said, I bought a Wolf of PPK replica. Love it, but the spring that pulls the hammer back broke after we... Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, that's a bit gutting, isn't it? Yeah, Bad Black was pretty good. I think I preferred Who Killed Captain Alex, but I liked the conclusion that now we know who killed Captain Alex. Matt said, Michael, come back on later. Got to get some caffeine. Uh, like you and wine via bicycle pedaling, voice shots. Yeah, def definitely, mate. Yeah, go go and get some caffeine or maybe something to eat and all that shit. And yeah, come back on later. Have a maybe have a lay down, but don't fall asleep all night. But yeah, I'll definitely see you later, mate. I'll be I'll be on until five o'clock, hopefully. Commander, commander. Yes, Pepe said, sure, I will when I get it done. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Matt gets it, yeah, oh, BBC, yes, I'm not into BBC of any kind, you stop it, Peach, <laughs> Ugandan poo, fuck's sake, what was the other, oh yeah, cockroach turd, we liked um, diarrhea squirts, Cock cockroach turd, and what was the other one, Ugandan poo poo, <sighs> Who knows what this shirt represents, apart from my alcoholism. <laughs> Shall we see if I can do it up? Then we'll see how much weight I've put on. At one point, this was like, I couldn't even do it up. I can just about do it up, but it's a bit tight. It wouldn't be flattering, put it that way. I can actually do the buttons at that table glove, thanks so much. Up. You obviously don't watch a lot of telly. <laughs> oh, God. Pepe said, Stephen King said, when writing a story, think of the ending first, which I have. Yeah, nice. Nice one. Thank you, Richard. Yes, trailer park boys, exactly. I thought said I wouldn't have that pattern on my tablecloth. He's looking for a fucking tablecloth as well. This is from, this is Ricky's shirt from the trailer park boys. <sighs> I won't do it up, it's a bit tight. Pete said, can almost wrap it around your head. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that. That's got that kind of pattern. This is hound's tooth or dog's tooth. I can't remember. What it, yeah, it does. It looks like a shimar, doesn't it? Does. It's got that similar pattern, but not. Yeah, this is it's either called dog's tooth or hound's tooth. Tristan, how you doing, mate? He said, hey, man, I'm in a restaurant watching you live. Oh, nice one, nice one. Well, I hope your meal is lovely and I hope you're having a good time. Sergio, you all right, mate? I am drinking bloody 9% stuff tonight. I've got four of them and some vodka. Yeah, I hope you're having a nice time, Tristan. Deep in the bunk said, Pete's took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> it does. It's, it's got that. I know what you mean. Definitely does look like that. Richard said, your riding tweed is... My, yeah. My, oh, your riding tweed is dog tooth. Nice. Nice one. Pepe said, you've seen Cannibal Holocaust? Yes. I have. I've, I own Green Inferno, and I have seen Cannibal Holocaust. I've just never got around to buying it. I may have had it on video and downloaded, but I literally lost all my downloaded stuff. Um, how you doing, Pepe? Pepe, are you coming on later? Lockhart said, no, I don't own a HDR50. I couldn't afford one, and I wasn't sure about them. But I don't know. I might do one day. How much are they? Yeah, I've got Green Inferno up here. Um, and if I had Cannibal Holocaust, that would be up there as well. But I'm pretty sure I don't own that. I had it downloaded. Uh, 
Oh, well, Pepe, one of your favourites as well. I still haven't put all the fucking DVDs back that I had last time. Pepe. And it's a director's cut. Oh, I think it was un uncut version of July, didn't you? But yeah. Yeah, I got Green Inferno. That's what you said, wasn't it? Uh, Pose, I won't be on tonight. I wouldn't want to bring the mood down. Uh, well, Pose, you know you're always welcome. Um, and I don't think you'd ever bring the mood down. But if you ain't feeling up for it, you know, but you know you're always welcome. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> I hope you're all right, mate. Oh, just you're just in a sort of, you know, ain't feeling it. I think I was actually getting mild depression recently, but I feel all right now. It seems to have gone. Metallic said, I just realized the Friday night my favorite cheese is staying over is when you're here, so I won't have the power after all. I thought you said next weekend. I'm not hang on, is it in a couple of weeks then? You'd have to can you message me? He, um, tell me what night you mean. Pepper said, nice. No, so I got the unrated version of Cannibal Holocaust. Oh, sorry, Pepper. Well, sorry to hear that, mate. Sorry to hear that. Blockout said, I do you have a shit disc god. I do have a disc god, but I only it's a very private one. I have to um I have to have known people a very long time to have them on there. You're right, Tactical. Yeah, sorry to hear that, Pepper. You're right, mate. But that said, I have him. Oh yeah, I will be around yours on the eleventh. Yeah. Yeah. I asked him if he wanted to stay over the night before. But yeah, no, we can do a thing. Perhaps you've heard of Thriller, A Crawl Picture? No, I haven't. No, I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, I've seen, um, I've seen Cannibal Holocaust a couple of times, three or four times. I had it downloaded or on video. I probably had it both. But yeah, my hard drive fucked up and I lost every film I had. And I had quite a few films on there that I couldn't afford to get. Oh, sorry, Persia. Yeah. You know, I've been so fucking busy today. I haven't had a chance to listen to them. Yeah, it's been a weird day today. They was putting on... So I got up. I had to unblock a drain. I had to get in the loft and get a load of traps down for Mount because the fucking rats are in the shed. And they started to eat the fuck. They started to chew the chainsaws now. So he's serious now. And then my cousin Ben and Jim were putting a a sort of mini winch type crane type thing on the back of the lorry. So I ended up sort of helping them do that. So yeah, and then I edited a new Spire Files video. So I never got around fucking listening to them, but they're my, that's my job for tomorrow. I'm sure they're great though, mate. But I did get them. Sorry, I did get them though, Pleasure. I did get them. I did get them, yes. Sorry. But I did get your recordings, and thank you for that, mate. To the winch, a wench. Name that film. To the winch, wench. To the winch, wench. I'm going to guess... Um, oh, I can't what's called now. No one spoil it for me. Give me the initials, because like, I can't remember what it's called anymore. But I know what it is. Weird sister, no, not weird sisters. Then, oh, that was wrong. <laughs> NES, I ain't got a fucking clue. Never ending story. Why well, haven't bloody watched that yet? No, I don't know. Pepe said it's inspired, it inspired the eye patch character from Kill Bill. The main character from Thriller wears an eye patch. All oh, right, I, I've got the Kill Bill films, I did not know that. Okay. Yeah, Pepper, you're going to have to send me a list of some of these films. You have, when you talk to me about them, write them down so I can remember to look them up. I know I could write them down, but you know I'm a bloody... You know. Lewis, how you doing, mate? You are all right? But yeah, I did get your things, Burge. I didn't have a chance to listen to them. I did make a brand new Spyroverse advert today that even Metallic doesn't know about. But metallic, I'll have to. It's not. It's not a particularly funny. Well, no, it's funny, but it's not like. You know, I say these things aren't funny, but you know, it's, the only reason they're not that funny is so they're not that funny compared to the real, real funny ones. You know what I mean? But as I said, I actually got a a line, a long line today, 
than usual. Um, house work as my ladies are out on a CSI escape room. Thing. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, Persia, I have to put my bare arm in a fucking block drain up to there. I had nothing else to do it with. Um, and I still didn't fully do it. Scooping out all this black. It, luckily, it wasn't one that had sort of proper dirty shit down. It was more of a, it was a drain that only really ever has the washing machine um, drainage. The one we put in ourselves. Yeah, that sounds really good. Ah, it's horrible. Black, all black shit all over my arm. Not shit, but yeah, it wasn't fun, mate. <laughs> and I still didn't get to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right, Lewis. I'm too bad. I'm having a bit of a drink tonight. By the way, everyone, it's my birthday soon. Um, my birthday is the 29th of April, but I won't be able to live stream the weekend closest to that. So my birthday live stream is going to be next weekend. So I hope some of you lot can come on and talk to me and have a drink with me and all that. Uh, there won't be no theme. You can dress up smart if you want. I probably will. But yeah. Birthday, early birthday stream next Saturday. All right. Happy birthday. Congratulations. It's your birthday. It's time for lots of fun. So roll, roll this card, card up nice and, and tight and stick it up your bum. Happy birthday. Now, I would say that was a bit of skill flunk from my queen. Uh, Mad hat is un unhappy birthday. Yes, unbirthday part. Yes. Well, I <laughs> have to see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. But a happy birthday if it's your birthday. Thank you, mate. But yeah, it'll be my birthday in it's a couple of weeks, but I'll have to do the the, the birthday thing next. Um it's gonna have to be next Saturday. In fact, the other insult uh, was retarded ghost a uh, goat. Yes, that was it. Really said it's just before the kid goes through the gate with the Sphinx statues with bare breasts. What's that, Rich? <laughs> For once, you cheeky cock great turd. <laughs> you little shit bag, aren't you? you little diarrhea squirt. My mum gave me a jar earlier and said, I can't open that. And the words came out of my mouth, you can't even open that. And then I had to explain to her why I said that. This is a little joke me and, Matt, uh, me and Metallic have because we've watched this film where this bloke's like biggest insult to someone was um he can't even read so now every time one of me and uh one of us says i we can't do something the other one go, oh, you can't even or whatever it is yeah my mom had no fucking idea what i was talking about yeah yeah oh, you can't even open that <laughs> richard said talking about the never ending story oh to the wench winch like oh i've i've only watched it once i've got it there ready to watch my mum's got three copies of this, three of them. Not not three, not three, but three copies of this. Three, three, three copies. Yeah, because they just kept sending them. Out. She ordered one, and they just she'd get one one week. Next week she'd get another. Next week she got another. Perhaps said, "I got an idea for a short film, but can't find location and actor. I only need one person to be in it. I could do it for you, Pepe. I've got a green screen. I'm the shittiest actor you'll ever get." But I'll, I'm up for it. If you need an actor for a scene or a short film, Pepe, haven't you seen my acting? Let me find some of my acting on here. Pepe, have you not watched? Um, it was free. Of, it was both. It was actually both. Um, Persia. It was both. Pe um, Pepe, have you ever seen any of the Spyro Files? If you haven't, I'll put a clip of the Spyro Files on in a minute so you can see the quality of my acting. Then you can judge whether you would like me to be in it or not. I'm pretty fucking good, though. And also, you'll get a chance to see all of the Spyro Files stuff soon. <laughs> oh, but have you seen some of episode three, though, which has got actual acting in it? Proper real acting. Metallic, do not play the Crinkle Cut Clean one, though, because I don't want to keep getting those suicide ones. Oh, no. that No. What she got, Persio, was three of these. No, not one, two, and three. Literally just three of them. 
<laughs> that I had one job. I, that's what I'm going to play. I'm going to play. Right, hang on. Papa, I'm going to show you a bit of the quality of my acting. You will be amazed. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's show you some fucking acting, mate. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Richard says, shittiest actor ever is Conor McGregor. Holds that title. Yes. Yeah, even I couldn't take that title off him. <laughs> Drop said, please let it be him laying on the bed. Well, hang on, Jack. Let's see first, shall we? Uh, can you see this? Be, uh, be ready, Pepe. You will be amazed by this. I'm probably one of the best actors you'll ever see. Medication time. Oh, oh Dr. Russell? I'll subscriber for this video. He said, I don't subscribe to see your BDSM fan. <laughs> now, Metallic, she can fuck you out. You can't. Not you again. It's me again. <laughs> Where's my phone? Oh, you don't need that. Don't worry about those sorts of things. This is a real thing you can watch on, on YouTube. You it's medication. Medication, sir. Uh, it's only a little break. Uh, it's okay, you'll just feel a little bit. It sounds like someone's got a town in another room of this hospital. That said, Fine. gotta get Lucy to watch this. Fine. She'll get all the disturbed yeah. references. Yes, she sure will. I'm good. They feel a little tight, but you know, it's best to be sure. Get off. Don't. Don't. <laughs> this whole episode was just that one joke. Thank you. Isn't that better? No, it's not. Hello, Nin. How you doing, mate? Come, come, come. Don't I hope you're, I hope you're um, oh, okay. suitably impressed. Should we just make you feel a little bit more happy before we do that? You want to watch the rest of this? You better fucking um, go and watch it. Metallic is my so lovely wife and queen and my soul, mate. That's what Metallic is. Sorry, bitch. Well, I'm not a Desmond. I'm a Spyro bitch. Spyro bitch. CCC collector. Fucking yeah, hell. I'll fucking take your foreskin and I'll eat it. <laughs> My favourite snack. Did you just say we take action on this step? You're on the menu. <laughs> You're a bit cocky for someone who's tied up, aren't you? Cocky. Mr. Twirly Twirly told me about you. I can't wait to get my teeth around that foreskin. <laughs> I love the way you say foreskin. There you go. That is that is episode three of the Spyro Files. There are four episodes so far, and I am literally making episode five right now. Yes. Cheers. That was, it's a good film. Thank you. That was just little highlights of a 35-minute episode. That's said, you don't get nurses like that on the NHS. You must have went private. Yes. Well, I don't know what that fucking hospital was, but it wasn't fucking good. Tactical. We said, you sure she wasn't just releasing, uh, realizing, realizing, the, releasing desires to torture you for all that shit she had to put up with. Metallic describes that last sequence as actual real torture because she was really genuinely tied to that fucking chair, and. This is behind the scenes shit that I've kept. I I don't think me and my dad should ever watch it again though, because it brings back massive PTSD, and you may be bringing back PTSD as we talk, Rich. But um, I unintentionally actually did torture Metallic in that scene. Uh, um, <sighs> yes, she was tied to that fucking chair for about forty five minutes, and forty minutes of that was me trying to act and not being able to talk. <laughs> Poor woman. Nurse said I had a cracking idea for a duster dilemma at work, Mike. Go on, what was it? What was it? That, that sounds good, Liz. Metallic said, 
because Mike lost the power of speech. I did. I couldn't even talk. I can't act in front of people. As soon as the pressure is on to act in fr front of someone, I can't do it. I can't even talk. Because also, the thing is, what people don't realise is, I very, very rarely write a script. So most of the shit I say in the episodes, I think of what I might say in real life about two minutes before I do it, and then I just do it. The only time I write it down is it's a lot of writing. And again, I just think of it really quickly. I try and think what I would just say naturally. That's it, her ass was killing her. <laughs> That's what Mike said. Jock said, thought you were going to say she was tied up and you had a battle of uncontrollable gas. Now, I was taught, you know, silence, dropped poor woman. Yeah, things I do to my queen. Not on purpose. Pepe said, the film's going to be called Bean for Demon Barber. I play a knockoff. Uh, I play a knockoff of my bean man. Sits in a chair. I slit his throat with a straight razor. And you hear the laughter track. As blood sprays over. All right, that sounds good. Well, if you'd like me to try and do a scene for you, I'm up for that. I'm a terrible actor, though. <laughs> if you've ever seen Garth Ring's Dark Place, I live by the little um, quote that Dean Lerner says. He says, here is Dean Lerner not putting on an act, but putting on the truth. And that is what I do. I don't act. I can't act to save my life. I'm not bad, Tat. How are you, mate? You are right? Drinking 9% Carpakies. I'm going to say Carpakie because it doesn't sound as dodgy. Les said the dropped. I thought he was going to say he left her tied up while she sloped off to the offy. <laughs> there was probably a lot of drink drunk that night. Poor woman. Poor fucking woman. Yeah. I'm surprised she hadn't tied me up and done the fucking thing for me. Just teach me a lesson. Yeah, I can't. I, I, I get this weird, really bad, embarrassed thing. <clears throat> yes, bizarre. Oh, Ben might come down late. I've said to Ben, I don't know, though, because his, his missus is out. They're all out at the minute, most of them are, because it's a couple of their birthdays. So um, I, I said to Ben, if you want to come into the Wendy house when I go out there, <clears throat> you can. But it's the same reason I can't work any time there's pressure to do something and not fuck up. I end up um, rolling <laughs> critical fail. Fuck. Yeah, it's a nightmare, isn't it, Rich? I literally, I cannot act to save my fucking life. Papa said, in a Mr. Bean voice, oh, yes. A close shave for you, sir. A very close shave. Nice. Mother said, sorry, guys. I'm getting prepared with supplies in my room. There'll be a war with them. Fuck, is it going to be that bad? I hope not. Fucking hell. That's a nightmare, isn't it, Mother? All right, mate. Yeah, you get sorted. <coughs> Drop said, have a sore bicep from lugging around the world. And... Oh, Drop, can you remind me? Because I keep forgetting. I have now taken a picture of the um, the welder that they bought, if you want to see it. So I can show you what we've got. And then you might be, um, yeah. Well, Tactical, you're welcome if you want to come on. We'll be on later. Um, you know the time. Two ish, maybe it depends how what kind of mood I am in when I start. You know, because I, mean? I do like people to see a little bit of the late one, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, but cheers, mate. What are you drinking tonight, Tactical? Um, Metallic said, Oh, no, mother dear, some sort of hear that freaking wars left, right, center. yeah, it sounds horrible. That's fucking fucked up, mother. I'm you know, I, I often am grateful that we live over here and don't have you know. Very rarely have stuff like, you know, we have had things going on, but yeah, um, not sort of all that war though for a long time, but yeah. Um, Metallic said, Oh, no, no, I read that. What was I gonna read? Dad said, Mother, but if the ship does go down, make sure you stay safe. Yeah, I've said, Nothing is happening with now. I hope it will remain safe. Yeah, hopefully it does. Yeah, I'm um, dropped. I'll show you a picture of it. Um, yeah. I've actually had the picture on my fucking um, phone for probably three days. I keep forgetting to send you it. Tactical San Miguel, I see you're on the 9%. <laughs> KP is a very good name for it. Um, <laughs> Tactical, yes. I refuse to call it its name. I refuse to say that out loud. 
I've been pronouncing it uh, as as I think the Polish would call it, Karpaki. <laughs> I'm not saying that out loud. I had some San Miguel's last... When did I have them? Why did I have San Miguel's recently? That's weird. Why did I have San Miguel's? Yeah, why the fuck was I drinking them? And when was I drinking them? Where the fuck? I, I literally cannot fucking remember drinking them. Why Why would I have bought them? I don't buy shit like that. Do I? Where did they come from? Can you not remember? Oh, fucking hell. Jim, yes. Thank you. Nice one, Percy. Yeah, when Jim came, I kept trying to work out. Um, calm down, lady. <laughs> I'm I'm a cross between Leahy for the drink, Randy, uh, not Randy, Ricky for the sideburns and the shirt, and Randy for the fucking belly. I was poking that out, by the way. It's not that big anymore. <laughs> so yes, I'm an amalgamation of the lot of them. Yeah. But I was smoking, I know things. Thank you, Pedro. I appreciate that. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I wonder why I'd got fuck why I had them. Lewis said, Mike, do you reckon you could get around the law on the dust of law by encasing them in resin? Well, I had planned to do that years ago. I think you could, yes. I think if they're encased in resin, because you can't put them on, they would they would be fine, yeah. I think they would. I think they would. Because you can't wear them. How you doing, Carl? You're right, mate. Yes, I think, Lewis, that they would be all right. Yeah. Yeah, cheers, Perger. Zed said to tackle, I've been tired all week to have slept that well. Make, maybe something's going around. I didn't fucking sleep properly last night. Well, I don't... I think you wouldn't get away with the dust of paperweights. Not in this country. The issue is, dropped is... The, the only way that knuckle dusters are described, they are... Any hard material that you can put one or more fingers in, like they go over one or more fingers, and they can be used for hurting someone. So a paperweight wouldn't work because even a paperweight could still be worn to hurt someone. Do you know what I mean? So they have to either be made of a soft material or they don't enclose your fingers. And you can get knuckle dusters that are like bars that come up. Technically, that would be legal. Or enclosed in resin or cut in half. As I said, I know I I know why you didn't know where they came from. Um it wasn't on any of your lists. Yes. I think it's no, I said to Metallic, I think it's that fucking um it's the large hadron collider coming on. It's changing reality. I've now developed a fucking uh stutter that I've never had ever in my entire life. <laughs> Drop said, like, so ladies and knuckle dusters. Yes, yes, they fucking are. They are now legal. <clears throat> I'm all right, Carl. Richard said, uh, just need to claim you changed and carry a bottle of water. Which is really full of water. Yes, in full of vodka. Yes, exactly, Rick. No, I said, might have myself a little project you know, when payday comes. Yeah, that I definitely reckon that'd be all right. I will, yeah, I'll have do, do, come on a bit later, Lewis. Give me, you give me a little bit of time. Yeah, I'm going to have guests on, definitely, mate. You up for a late one, or do you want a... If you let me know what time you're going to bed, I'll make sure I can get you on before then. <clears throat> if you want to come on. <clears throat> so I said, in case in resin, with a sticker on that's saying, in the case of bastard intruders, break the glass. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Pepe said, I get the actual fear about the Hadron Collider. It's, it's changed my reality, mate. Change my reality. Uh, Perhaps a messed up movie recommend. Uh, Solo or 120 Days of Sodom. I've been meaning to watch that. Like, I was looking it up the other day to try and find a copy of it. Yeah. Yeah, I've always wanted to watch that. I've never got around to it. I said my sister carries one of those multi tool hammers in her back. One of these. I used this today. Now, where the fuck would I put it? I both left it out. Hang on. I used one of them today, and now I can't find it. 
bollocks now. Where the fuck is that? <coughs> Alright, hang on. I don't know. What, one of these? I like these little hammers. They're actually handy for little jobs. By the way, if anyone wants to support this channel, please do, because you do massively help me out. Um, yeah. So the link is in the description and in the chat. And I'll just play a little 30-second video to show you how to support me if you want. Please do, because it massively fucking helps. It don't have to be a lot. I mean, so this is how to support, and I'll be back in 30 seconds. Just have a little dance. All right, Lewis, perfect night for you then. Hopefully, I'll be on until five o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. So, if I don't get you on this one, I'll be chatting to you all night on this anyway. When I finish this one, you can come straight on. Me, you, the dropped, and anyone else who wants to come on. And then, Lewis, if you hang about, at about two o'clock, I'll do a private live stream where we'll be chatting to like me, you, Dropped, anyone else on, maybe Tactical, Rich, Pepe, whoever else is on, Matt. And, and it won't be actually being live streamed. So you, you can talk about whatever you want, really, then. You know what I mean? Um, thank you, Carl. Yeah, don't forget to like. Yeah, I appreciate that. Both of said to Tactical, I know enough about science to know that you don't fuck with things you don't understand. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I'll be good, Lewis. Yeah, we'll keep you up all night, mate. <laughs> Drop said, wait, I've got it. Seal the duster in an aluminium block. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, in that case, I've got loads of them. With full privilege. tell you. <laughs> yes. Seal it in an aluminium block that hasn't had any drilling done to it. Yeah, if I just draw it on the marker pen, that's it, done. Barbara said, BFI version is uncut. B, BFC are moralistic swine, and they cut. And there's finally an uncut version. Buy them. I will do. Zed said, I take it someone else is cooking the Sunday lunch tomorrow. They might. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I, you know what? My mum do not even ask me anymore on a Sunday. I do it on a Monday now. Fuck's sake. Yeah, she doesn't even ask me anymore. <laughs> That's not bad, that stuff. I quite like it. My queen, I see you pop on for a second then, but I didn't see nothing more than that. <laughs> uh, she knows that cheer me up. Thank you for that, my queen. That was great. <laughs> Lewis said, um, dropped would probably... Uh, get done for conspiracy. Yeah. Thank you, my queen. That was yeah, that's the highlight of my evening so far. I don't think it'll get better than that. Carl said, my 12-year-old niece asked for her first knife today. Um, school is taken to a pink district and giving them a map. They're allowed a Swiss Army knife. Well, that's fucking pretty cool. I, I wouldn't have ever expected my... You know, that's amazing. I genuinely think that's amazing. That surprised me. That's pretty cool, I think. You know, yeah. It's like my grandson's scouts won't let the kids have their own knives. That's pretty mental, isn't it? That they're, they're, yeah. The thing is, they should teach children that knives aren't, you know, knives aren't weapons. They're fucking tools. You know, some knives are weapons, but most knives are actual tools. And that's what they, you know, yeah. Bobby said, I really mean, who are the BBFC to say unsuitable for adults? What is unsuitable for them? is too unsuitable to an adult individual. People watch those movies all the time without hurting anyone. Exactly, 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 mate, exactly. That's pretty cool, Carl, man. I like that. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's all right stuff, though. I don't mind that. Yeah, get her a pink one. Get her a pink one, Carl, man. 
Guys, if anything is a weapon if you try hard enough, or a dildo. Yeah, yeah, 100% true. 100% true. The title said, it's the glass that makes it taste good. Oh, yes. Yes. I forgot about that. Yes. Which advert would you like there? Good day, mate. Get yourself a weapon collector pint glass today. Only £11.16. You'd be a fool not to. Only the highest quality sand goes into making these glasses. Are you right-handed? Or left-handed? Maybe you only have feet? You can hold this glass any way you like, hold it with your cock, if you're that way inclined. Get in quickly, this pint glass has already sold 10,000 units in Australia alone. You've seen how much Weapon Collector likes his drink, now check out his mate Jim, he's real hardcore. After a hard day's graft, nothing quite relaxes me. Like a nice cold pint of vodka. Ah, <sighs> God dear. So don't be an ass. Get a Weapon Collector glass. Jim is a great bloke. I really, I do like Jim a lot. He's a proper decent bloke. And he, he's quite, um, well, I don't know what the word is, but um, if you hang around with Jim, he's very, uh, I don't know, he just sort of feels like family sort of thing. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Drop said, I don't need a glass. I keep drinking the same whales I've faced down in a puddle. <laughs> yeah. Lewis said, I love that ad, Mark. Look, <laughs> looks so pissed off. <laughs> I don't like acting. I ain't anything to do with acting, Lewis. Well, no, I say that. I'm getting a little bit better now, though. Yeah, no, Jim's great. I, do, I need to persuade Jim. And I, I don't need to persuade him. I just need to ask him. I need to get Jim in a proper um, Spire Files episode, doing like a full on thing. That was a BBC original watching Salo. Or Salo will turn people into sexual. Yeah, they're demented freak shows that the BBFC are that they think, you know, films do not turn people into nutters. You know, as I said, when I was a kid, oh, Tactical also said, I just, I did see your comment. I've read it while that video was on the Tactical. He said they're deer's foot knives. That sounds good. Zed said, when I was a kid, all the lads at school carried pocket knives. Curious, no one ever got stabbed. Might be different nowadays, mind you. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Funny, isn't it? How times change. Yeah. Um, well, I used to walk around with a deer's foot sheath knife on my belt and walk around up the local park about the age of 11, 12. No one ever said a fucking word. Um, then also, I used to walk around with a fucking balaclava on occasionally. Uh, uh, and there was one time we went up the village with a fucking deactivated Webley revolver, which looks just like a real fucking... Because um, well, it is a real gun. It's just deactivated. You wouldn't know from looking at it. Never got in trouble with any of them things. That we could have got massively in trouble for, though. Drop said, films don't turn people into nutters. Then might look up at his water DVDs. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, you know what? Generally, when we were watching that bad black today, they kept they kept calling one of the characters Swords because he's he's the Ugandan Schwarzenegger. And I said to Metallic, it's partly due to those same films that those lot are obsessed with that I have all this shit. Because I grew up on Arnold Schwarzenegger stuff and I loved guns and I loved weapons and knives and also grew up seeing him in my house and my dad had a crossbow and a, you know quite a few things, but yeah. Um yeah, so maybe they do. I take that back. Yes. Lewis said, jokes on you, Lord. I go a little in full Rambo Club at M60 included. <laughs> uh, hot cake, Lewis. Take it into different days. Rambo one day, Viking another day. Bit of Van Damme the next day. Bruce, Bruce Lee the next day. Carman said, I found a good film channel on YouTube, but I don't want to mention another channel. No, that's cool, mate. Go on, you can mention it. I don't mind stuff like that. That's all good. 
That's all good, especially film stuff. Film stuff's fine. It's different. It would different. It might be different. Maybe recommending another weapon channel, sort of thing. You know, all go what you know. But I still wouldn't care though. Um, yeah, mention it, mate. That's all right. That's fine. You never know. I might already be subscribed to. Pergio, I need to watch that video you sent me from. Um, is it Dust? Is that what that thing's called? The Sci-Fi Channel. Tactical actually recommended to me to that uh, ages ago, and I am actually subscribed, but I don't often get a chance to watch something. So is that one worth watching? Is it? That's I think it's called Dust. Is it called Dust Tactical? <laughs> it was it always, mate? Um, uh, <laughs> Big V was to work. Yeah, Big V. Yes, say Tactical. Yeah, Dust are brilliant. Yeah, Tactical. Persio recommended me one. Never. I don't often get a chance to watch them though. There's a television series can turn people into nutters, though. People put some of those together with very strange live streams, and the Spyverse comes into being, yes. You know what? One of my proudest things that's ever come about will be all of the Spyverse stuff. I fucking love it. Honestly, I'll never... Well, I may do one day. But no, because no, cause I, I will look back at that and still think, yeah, I'm so glad I made those episodes. You know, it's sort of a bit like a dream come true in a way. But Alex said, and for God's sake, don't recommend a channel of Mike Cates. Yes, that ho- that happens often. I often get people sending me bloody other fucking um, weapon channels of toss pots I can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> but not, not just because people don't know. Doc said, I walk into stores with one of those elbow length welding gloves and just walk around looking up, slapping it, <laughs> whistling. Oh, God, works great, and it's a great laugh. <laughs> People realise I don't have a falcon, yeah. Oh, God. Bepo said, they banned the movie Grotesque. Same stupid reason, sadism. Um, the movie is more of a comedy. Bates said, happy to be a small part of the madness. Well, that's it, Pete, isn't it? That's it. You've always been a part of it. Yeah, no, I, I will always look fondly on the Spyro first and the Spyrofile stuff. I love it, and yeah. It, it has fulfilled a part of something I've always wanted to do because I made that interactive film I done and this is sort of an add-on to that. It's I've, I've always wanted to make sort of low-budget mental fucking films or t- I call it a TV series, a web series really, but you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, and it's nice that people actually like it as well. You know. I'm still convinced a fucking it's going to get stolen one day by you know the idea is going to get stolen by a production company and they're going to make it into a series without any credit to me. I fucking bet you that will happen one day. I fucking bet you, and I'll never get a single credit for it ever. And then I'll have to, I'll go on fucking I'll go on the news. I'll bring up a paper and say look those bastards stole my idea, and then I'll get famous and then I'll get infamous. <laughs> Deep in the bunk said, Mike, I loved uh I loved the book so much that I want to get married at my local library. <laughs> they all booked up. Fuck's sake. The tax says sexual sadism was only taken out of the list of things that prove someone is a psychopath a few years ago. Yeah, it's meant then it um until it they said, we will back you up. Oh no, I've got the evidence to prove. Yeah. Drop said, when will you start editing the press conference? Well, the problem is I cut my hair. So I now can't do my bits until my hair's long enough to match it in the episode. So I won't fully edit the press conference for probably at least two weeks. So actually saying that, if anyone still wants to join in with the press conference stuff, send me an email tonight and I'll send you the details. Also, also, right, do any of you have any Spyroverse stuff you would like to do? Because... If you want to make a Spyroverse video, you could make a Spyroverse funny clip. You could make a Spyroverse advert. Remember, there are crinkle cut cock blockers. There are safety broomstick attachments. There's PSAs to tell people not to do Spyrograss. All stuff like that. If you want to join in by making your own video, keep it about no longer than five minutes, say, but it could be 30 seconds or a minute. Please do. Please make a video and send me in because it's more content I can add. Yeah, 
Because I'm making shit loads, but I'd like to see some of your lot stuff. Because people do join in. I've had Electra join in, Samurai Bird, you know, loads, loads of tactical, loads of people have made little clips. James Layton. <sighs> but it's a no need, I did it all, mate. Zed said, hope. Hope they make a film of one of the books. They'll have to pay you more than the, the more though. Forty five been forty five people wouldn't go far. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> the drop said I had the same problem. Was going to send more videos, but shaved my face. Well, you can always be a different character. You can always be a different character. Dropped if you want. drop, please do send some more. I change maybe change your thing. I oh, know. Hang on, do it anyway, and I can say, hang on, he just had a beard. I can point it out. Yes. When did you go away and have a shave? Yeah, I could I could make that into a joke. But yeah, I can't do my bits till my hair's long enough. This shagged a librarian once, dead quiet, <laughs> but saying that <laughs> we're in a morgue. Fuck's sake, Liz. Oh, God. Richard said, Mike, you think there'll be a documentary about the Spyverse films where they slander it and claim it's satanic <laughs> and use the image of the book burning as a, a claim of mass rebellion. You may be, may be, Rich. I can see that happening. I can see that happening. Oh, God. Yeah, go on, drop. Please do it anyway. That'd be great. Pepe said, but fictional sexual sadism is just that, acting. Well, exactly. Not saying I agree with it. No, but it's not actually doing anything. It's just acting, so it's ridiculous. It doesn't you know, those are, or don't point it out. In the movie Abyss, there is there is a moment where a hand works the camera, and I just left it in. Well, yeah, there you go. Yeah, maybe I just won't mention it then. Yes, yeah, I, I don't mind that. The way I got around me cutting my hair in in episode one is I just said, um, "Oh, I better go cut my hair before I go," and then I suddenly had short hair. But yeah, why not? Yeah, do you know what? Drop. Maybe, yeah, maybe I could. Yeah, but drop. Please send some more in. Yeah, do, do some original stuff, because if anyone does original stuff, those will definitely be used. Because you've got to remember, the, quest, the, the questions I sent out to, to do, if everyone does those, I can only use maybe one of each. So any original stuff, you're more likely to be used then. Um, yeah. Doc said, like Robin Hood and Costner gave up the accent. Yes, that makes me laugh when people do that. Or just can't be asked. John Connery's a classic for that. Fucking Russian with his accent that couldn't even be bothered. And then they, them kind of actors, they get Clark. Well, they're not actors for a start. It, it, I do find it amusing that there are people who who play themselves no matter what they do, and they are classed as good actors. They're not really. They're just good at being who they are. You know, a good actor can become a character and then be a diff, completely different person the next time. That's what I think, anyway. In fact, said they mentioned people not acknowledging a change of actor in the first episode of the series. Game on, yeah, they do. When they got a new Matthew rather than acknowledging it. Yeah. Yes, that's it. I remember that. Yes. Yeah. I, I remember that because I watched it recently, didn't I? Yeah, that's not bad, that fucking um, car pakey. Car man said, I was going to say. He's acting, actually acting, or a change of personality. Well, that's it. There are people who are classed as actors who just play themselves all the time, and there's nothing wrong with that. They are a personality that people like, and they like that character. You know what I mean? Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Sean Connery. You know, these people don't actually change their persona really ever. I mean, you wouldn't see these. I may be wrong, but you wouldn't see these actors suddenly playing. I don't know a, a very, very different character from what they normally are. But someone like Tom Hardy, who can go from a very small, skinny heroin addict in Stuart a Life Backwards to Bronson, which is a big, bulking, fucking you know, psychopathic fucking prisoner, to romantic leads in other things and he's completely different in these things as well he doesn't just play himself that's a fucking good actor <sighs> mother says sorry i don't comment but i'm listening to the... mother if you would like to come on and have a do you want a chat later if you want to chat later on the private one feel free to you know we'd like to have you on 
Especially if you're having a hard time, you know what I mean? Pepe said, 28 days later, after Frank gets shot and the camera falls away, and you can fully see a guy holding the camera in the corner. There's a couple of things like that in um, Evil Dead. So I said, Carl Man is good lying, really, when you think about it. I'd never trust anyone, anything in actors. That's good. It's good lying. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you know what? That's why I'm such a bad actor, Zev. I never lie. Mum said, sadly or not, join today, mate. All right, mate. Richard said, didn't Kevin Costner spit the dummy out that Robin Hood filmed due to the sheriff actor getting more praise? I don't know. I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me there. <sighs> Oh, getting your burps now. Pardon me. Uh, mother said, thanks, Joff. We wish you tons of weapons and goodies. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. this one goes out to mother. I ordered a ton of a pistol, a shotgun, a machine gun. All the shit you should have. I've just realised we've missed a trick on Mother's Day. Uh, someone remind me next time it's Mother's Day that we have to celebrate our, our mummy dearest. <laughs> your machine gun oh, I love that video because Eric the bloke in that video he was just in his garden trying to cut some bottles in his front garden and the little neighbourhood bloody autistic fucking ADHD kid saw him doing it and started going mental at his dad telling him all the things he wanted <laughs> quick write that down what did I say I can't remember what's said now Bopo said one of the best scenes from Bronson is when he paints his face in half plays himself and the nurse simultaneously great ad yeah i that's a good film i like bronson good film good music um brilliant acting i'll celebrate mother dear yes please do write that down we need to do a, a, a mummy's day for mother dearest next mother's day don't matter if it's american mother's day or english mother's day or or whatever because um they're different dates so Mother dearest, you will get a couple of days set out just for you. How you doing, Smiley? You're right, mate. But how it said, did you write down the thing where you could get paid to live stream? I bookmarked it, but I didn't. Please, someone send me a message to say, celebrate Mummy Dearest Day. We're going to do you a special day, Mother. Celebrate, celebrate our mother. Celebrate your mother. Glad you're all right, Smiley. I ain't too bad. I can't. I've got something else in front of it today. This is in front of it. I've got nowhere to bloody put it. Can't quite see it. My bloody um thingy board's in front of it. And there's no room on it. Please, someone send it to me as a message. Oh, fuck tape. Are you going to... You be drink... Pff, I can't talk, Pepper. you digging a trench tomorrow. Are you? I wish I had somewhere. Where, I, I would have a. I would make a bunker if I had a place to do it. By someone you mean me? No, 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 no. It's not Mother's Day tomorrow. We could make it Mother's Day tomorrow just for Mother. But no, 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 no. No, I don't know when it's Mother's Day. I ain't got a fucking clue. Thank you, Drop. Yeah, send me a message on Discord, please, and then I'll write it down mm, yeah, Sunday night. Thank you, my queen. Oh, large vegetable. Pie. Oh, good. Sorry, I, I thought you meant for the apocalypse. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Well, get in quick. You don't want to leave it too long. Otherwise, it'll be a little bit late in the year, but it's still fine. My stuff's growing all right. Um, they are so growing all right. Oh, my, yeah. Thank you, Matt. I did bookmark it. I went on the. I went on kick.com and I bookmarked it. <laughs> Mother said it's Mother's Day every day. It certainly is. It certainly is. And so it should be. So it should be. For Mother, dearest, and all the other mothers out there. Yes. I don't know if this is relevant, but yeah, let's, let's have a day to celebrate Mother, dearest. Okay, boy, we'll give it a try. Anything to play them clip. Richard said, does the whiteboard have important stuff like remember to wash hands, first toilet, white bum in the Greg Norder? Hey, <laughs> drat. Uh, no, it doesn't. It has important things like, let's see. Let's see what it says on there. I won't be able to say all of them. 
print shithead rules. Make me and Metallic's next wedding rings. Um, make me and Metallic and our grandson boxing belt because we have a boxing championship. Um, yes, a lot of shite that I could write somewhere else. And more and more and more. Wash ass. Piss off dropped. Dart said, I think I'll leave Discord up. I have a feeling I'll be writing a bunch of reminders. To oh, maybe, maybe. I appreciate it, though, Jock. I do. Thank you for doing that. What we have here is a failure to communicate. I <laughs> <laughs> said, well, if the apocalypse doesn't happen soon, <laughs> just role play like you're in it. That's the thought when digging. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I might make a mockumentary. Demon Monk said, Mothers get Mother's Day, Fathers get Father's Day, Wankers get Palm Sunday. Well, yes, I'm not, uh, yeah, or I'll get the Palm Sunday anyway. But um, where is Sun's Day? There's Sunday every fucking week, and I don't get celebrated. That's all I've got. I'm not a fucking dad. So uh, no Father's Day for me. <laughs> it's just Mike and Greg. I want fucking Sun's Day. I want to be celebrated. But no, I don't fucking get it. Tom, how you doing, mate? You all right? Carl Man said, that clip reminded me of Monty Python for some reason. Daughter Day, well, yeah. Metallic said, there should be a day to celebrate non-breeders. There should. I should. Because I don't get these special days. Every other fucker get. Except for, you know, <laughs> as you say, breeding. Yes, where's my special day for not fucking breeding? Getting pissed. <laughs> Drop, there should be. Happy you don't have kids' day. There fucking should. <laughs> Lol, do do. <laughs> do 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 do. What's that from? Carl Man said, I do a lot for my mum, to be honest. Yeah, no, so do I. Yeah, I do a lot for my mum. You know, um, yeah, there should be a son's day. There should be a fucking son's day. I know what you meant, Carl. It's all right. Well, no, I don't suppose there's a daughter's day either. But there already is a son's day. Sunday. Once a week. Why don't I get celebrated? Why do you think I like going around metallics so often? I, I actually get to have a nice bit of time. Get, you know, get treated well. Not that I don't get treated well here, but Metallic said, you do, Mike, but you're too hungover to appreciate it. Well, maybe, maybe. Pepe said, I want a kid of my own. My first said she would, then we broke up. Oh, that's a shame, Pepe. Yeah, especially if you want kids. Yeah. Dot said, happy you don't have, <laughs> happy you don't have kids day. Yes, exactly. Dot said, every time the stream you get celebrated, needy bastards. <laughs> well, I suppose, I suppose, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing all these Celebratory things, though. <laughs> but Sat said, you do, Mike. But, oh, no, I read that one, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I do. Champagne. Oh, yes, please. I love getting pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shall be with my queen soon. I won't tell you exactly when, but you'll know when, because I'll disappear for a bit. But uh, you won't know, though, because now I upload videos while I'm away. So I said, what's your EDC for today, Mike? My EDC, so I ain't got a lot on me at the minute, but my EDC was, um, when I went up the shop, the only thing I really took of interest was coin pouch, another coin pouch, I need to call it something else then, a leather point, fuck's sake, a leather coin pouch just in case you need to carry a lot of coins and need them for something <laughs> and basically this torch it's not right little torch for what it is single triple a cost me one pound eighty that's it, really. No, I didn't. I didn't even take the. Um, I didn't even take a tactical pen or a legal carry knife today. 
Tom said I was watching the Halloween video. Oh, nice one, Tom. What? What? Which Halloween video was it? Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice to see you on from that. I, I, I do like that they at least tell people I'm live on that. Thank you, Irish. Oh, yes, he knew it. Yes. Yeah, I got my Ricky shirt on because I'm having a drink. I'm on the strong stuff tonight. Hey, nice one, Tom. Matai said, really want to watch Let the Blood Run Free. Maybe me and you will have to watch that at the same time. I'd love to do that, Matai. Homer said, I actually just put my glass up to the screen. Forced to have it. <laughs> that the good nuts. Sack. But it was a genuine question. If I made an extreme movie, would the BBC ban it in this country? I don't know. I don't know. Because stuff like the stuff we put online doesn't get rated because it's not sold. Because some of the Spyroverse stuff may have to have an age rating. I don't know. <laughs> Lewis said, Mike, if you do a collab with anyone... But it's currently alive, who would it be? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of channels. Um, and there's not a lot of people I'm massively interested in nowadays. Don't know. Adam Teledin's pretty cool. Scal's pretty cool. Potentially I could get in I could get in contact with Scal and do an interview with him. I just keep forgetting to do it. Someone, Persio, keep reminding me to message Scal and do those interview things. I reckon he would do one with me. Um, yeah. I don't know. Do you know what? Do you know what? Kay's good cooking, maybe. <laughs> oh, God. But I'll check up last night. Tom said, not sure, to be honest. Think last Oh, nice one. Yeah, the Halloween videos, Tom, are always good. Tacticals, I had my tactical pen and the torch and my mini first aid kit as EDC in the pub last night. Oh, nice one, Tactical. Yeah, I didn't take a legal carry knife out tonight. I normally do, but yeah, I had that. I had that pouch and I had my um a torch and I had a bag, my internet thing. Tom said four hour one. I watched two hours. Oh nice. Yeah, keep when you when this finishes, Tom, you have to go back and watch that. They're they're pretty good, aren't they? I do one every year. And yeah, they're they're I I really like them. Once you've finished all the um, Halloween stuff, Tom, I recommend to look up my Spyro files, my Spyroverse, not Spyro files, my Spyroverse playlist. It's a bit insane, but it's great. Um, yeah. And watch it in the order it shows it. Oh, one thing I would say, though, so if you do watch the Spyroverse stuff, there's a documentary if you're not into the book reading, just skip the book reading. So watch. So the, there's a documentary that's an hour long. You can skip the document, the, the story. You can skip the book reading at the end and listen to that later because it's a bit much if you're not massively into it. So watch the first half of the documentary and maybe the last two minutes and then watch the series. I think I think you'll like it. Yeah, no pressure, mate. <laughs> Irish Al said, I see Hans Zimmer's orchestra yesterday. Bloody class. They even had the man who sang the main song in London. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool, that is, I am. Um, I, Irish Al. That sounds very cool. Oh, yeah, I love that. You know who I would have loved to have seen, if I ever could have? Ennio Morricone. Uh, if you go onto my channel, Tom, there should be a thing that says playlist. Click that, and then you'll be uh, you'll see the, the Spyro Files playlist. Yeah. Andy said, I bought an apple tree. Well, I get an orange. Maybe you will. Maybe you will. Dad said, EDC. I won't go into the RDC. Too much dimension. Um, what a character. These three pocket knives, usual, but not always Swiss Army knives. <laughs> now, is there anyone from here from anyone here from Stu since he started working? Um, he's on our Discord, but he did a video. No, I'm not properly. No, he, he messages me about once a week. Um, Lewis, but it'd be about it'd be about he's probably just busy. You know I mean? Thank you. So, um, Tom Metallic has just put a link on if you want that playlist. But yeah, it's something I made myself, like not I made myself, right? So the Spyroverse was in came about from a um live stream, but Spyro Files is like my sort of part of it. That all part of mine, but you know what I mean. Hello, E, how you doing? You heard the government's right to license crossbows. I know it's absolutely mental, isn't it? Do you know how many crossbows I got? 22, maybe? I think I've got at least 22. Well, do you imagine the safe I'd have to get to put them in? 
Carl Mann said, well, money tree would be ideal. That's what I want, mate. That's what I want. Fucking money tree. Yeah, I hope you had a good time, Irish. That sounds really good. Carl said, money trees only grow next to whiskey streams. Yeah, well, grow something like tobacco or marijuana. That's the closest you'll ever get to a money fucking tree, I'll tell you. Pepe said, do you get sick of the mainstream dulling down everything horror movies, for example? Just seem to be horror. Yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that kind of crap, Pepe. There's a lot of shit horror films. I'm a big horror fan. There's a lot of crap now. And I don't like... Um, I, I don't know. They... A lot of modern horrors I can't stand. They're fucking bollocks. They're total shit, Pepe. Carlton, I might start selling money trees, start producing after 10 years. Tom said, I know an ex-military guy who keeps a bowie under his bed. Yeah, why not? Why not? Tom said, why isn't one growing out of the Wendy ass doormat? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, uh, Tom, if you like horror, you will like the Spirophiles. But yeah, the documentary will, will explain how it started. The Spirophiles are the episodes I made. I'm currently making episode five. Yeah. Let me know what you think of it. It's pretty mental, though, so be prepared. It's comedy horror. If you like things like Garth Ringy's Dark Place or Bad Taste, Peter Jackson's Brain Dead, stuff like that, I think you'll like it. Yeah. The drop said, I keep that gladiator knife next to my pillow. Big shiny fuck off blade. Lewis said, hard to get a good slasher film in all pepper. Yeah, there's a lot of films. Now, it's... I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of horrors now that they... I think it's because I'm a bit older. But it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean because I'm older, though. But anyway, I like the 80s horrors, stuff like that, because often the main characters you actually liked, the the baddies were baddies from the beginning, and you don't like them at all. i just got to do something quickly. Um, the baddies were always baddies, and... You dislike them from the beginning, the good, and you like the goodies, right? Nowadays, they make films where you can't decide who's who. You don't know who's bad, who's good. They'll make someone a complete bastard, and then later on, they'll try and make you like them. I don't like that. I want to know. Or, or the other thing is, they'll make everyone a complete cock, and they want you to want them to die. I don't enjoy that. I want to be rooting for someone and hoping they don't die. I don't want to watch a film where. Um, I want everyone to die. That's shit. I wasn't pissing Lewis, but someone was. <laughs> I wasn't pissing, but someone was, yes. What's my favourite horror film? I, I don't know. I've got a lot of them, Tom. I do like Brain Dead. I do like Bad Taste. Martyrs is very good. The Evil Dead is very good. Um, yeah. They said modern horror films are crap. They show you the monster in ah oh, Blair Witch Project's one of my favourite ones. The insane killing the first fifteen minutes, no suspense. Carl said there's people in the military that are more scared of England than Afghanistan. Um, Pepe said the original House of a Thousand Corpses never saw the day of light. Studios are too graphic, which is a shame because uh, you would have seen Sherry Moon uh, zombie fucking uh, a scat. Now that sounds excellent. Yeah, do you know what? My, my, one of the things I'd love to do, Pepe, is I would like to do a, a, a sort of sequel tribute to the film Bad Taste, right? In it, it would involve an alien invasion. Um, aliens invade, the aliens from Bad Taste invading Earth. And there's basically a war going on, stopping these aliens coming to Earth because, on the, well, they're doing it because we can't stop them. So they're coming down to Earth, harvesting people, taking them back to the um, ship, and then processing them for food, right? And I, I would, I'll explain how this would probably never see the light of day, right? What we'd do, there'd be all the powerful countries would be attacking the ship, doing nothing, while England secretly send up a group of SAS in a ship. So no, while all these battles going on, they send these secret SAS up, um, equipped with, because um, these aliens are going to be massive as well. They'll be twice the size of humans. So you wouldn't be able to physically fight them. They have to have special, special guns. And a lot of them are um, like 
pistol shotguns with fucking slug um, slug cartridges in. Anyway, so the SAS would go up, do this mission while everyone else is sort of um, fighting. But what I thought would be fucking great would be to show human beings being treated like animals do. So you would see live human beings having their skin ripped off. I'm not saying this happens to Adam, but I don't, I don't really know. But anyway, I thought of like really fucked up shit. Like, um, this isn't the fuck, most fucked up. People having their skin ripped off while they're still alive and then the skin being cooked and eaten and then, the, you know, and, and maybe um, things to do with pregnancies being eaten and stuff. Like that. And, and what I would like to do, because that would never see the light of day, I would like to do a, this is like my dream film, I would do a four cinema version and then I'd do a solely internet version where you could pay pay a couple of quid to watch the uncut version that was only ever shown on the internet. And I reckon you could get around it that way because, you know, there's no real restrictions that you can show on the internet. Is there? I don't know. I don't know. Well, there isn't, is there? Yeah. There's a lot more to that, but that's the very basics of it. But imagine all of the horrible, fucked up shit you see happen to animals and stuff like that that would be happening to humans. You think of all of the horrible, demented, fucked up shit, all of that, that would be aliens doing that to us. You could do mental graphic, horrible stuff. You know, humans being boiled alive and, you know, force fed fucking shit. So that the livers, you know, all, all the, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm not, I'm not like a fucking, um, like an animal rights person. It's just, I'm just trying to think of the most graphic, horrible things you could do in a film that would fucking disgust people. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, like slaughterhouses, Tom. But that would be my dream, dream film, I think. That'll get done soon. <laughs> so I said, maybe the monster was the people we meet along the way. Yes. Richard said, yeah, Halloween kills is like that. I hated all the characters and all the dialogue being referenced to other Halloween films. I was just waiting for Michael Myers to stab. Yeah, and for me, that spoils it. I don't want to see films where I hate everyone. So I said, damn, you've got a camera here set up, Metallic. Oh, our blood has synced. <laughs> Dad said, what's everyone's favourite cheaply made film? Mine's Evil Aliens. Evil Aliens is good, Zed, isn't it? Uh, mine would probably be, uh, my favourite low-budget film ever would be Bad Taste, 100%. I love Bad Taste. One of my favourite films. <laughs> it's got some weird dreams. Carson, oh man, I played ages ago Oddsworld as a kid and had nightmares for a month. A human being processed an alien meat fat. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Tom, that's the Spiral 12 up there. Yeah. I thought it said the Spiral Files and then Big Black and who killed what's his face? Oh, what films we've been watching? Oh no, what the things? Yeah, oh yeah. So Metallic's low budget film she loves are the Spiral Files, Big Black and who killed Captain Alex. Yes. Yeah. Pepe says, Savage Retribution is going to be on the same level of sadistic violence. Yeah, I, I, that's my dream. I'd love to do that. Yeah, and you would you would see all these horrendous things happening to people instead of animals. Just imagine all of the horrible films you, things you can think of that happen to animals. They would be doing that to us, and it would be graphic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that'd be fucking great. That'd be absolutely great. Just think of the horrible things you could do. And think of the... Not horrible, but... Be aware that we eat fish eggs. Think about what fish eggs are. Think of what that would be in human terms. Don't write it down. Think of aliens eating that and that being people being processed for that. You know, yeah, it would be fucking sick and it would be fucking mental. I don't believe you'd ever get it past any fucking sensors. So there would be a a rated or unrated um, like movie version, and then there'd be an internet version with everything in it. You know what I mean, um, well, it is messed up, Tom, but that's what I mean. It would, it would be so fucking fucked up. That's, but it would be, you know, <laughs> I don't mean to put anyone off with that, but I'm just trying to think of the most horrible things you can think of. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, so I said, Mike, you're describing a movie about stock work. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, don't you know what I mean? It would be horrendous. It would be it would be horrendous, and it would be notorious. I think. 
We said, might look at fire in... Oh, fire in the sky experiment seems horrendous, isn't it? I've seen that. Yeah, so sorry. I just ha I have a dark... That would be like what I'm planning. I'm never going to do it. What My dream would be to make the probably one of the most fucked up controversial films ever. That's what the dream would be. You know what I mean? <laughs> it would make things like fucking um, Human Centipede look mild. Yeah. Says I'm metallic. Give Mike a time out for talking about forbidden stuff to temper. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Fuck sake. I think I need a time out just to shut my fucking gob. Anyway. Right. Uh, here's a trailer for episode four. While I have a quick pick. Yes. Menstruation omelets. Oh, exactly, metallic. That's what it would be. Stuff like that. Horrendous stuff. Okay. Let me have a quick piss. I will. Here's an episode. Here's a trailer for episode four of the Spire Files. It's more of a teaser trailer, so you don't see a lot. I'll be back in a minute. When the cops get crinkled, everyone can hear you scream. That was episode four of the Spiral Files. <laughs> In the shed. No, that was, yeah, that was Hellfire Cave in West Wickham. Yeah, nice one, John. How did you know that? Doc said, Gothic Arsenal, or was it a castle? Been a minute. Ha, ha, ha. said, Earthling, it's a documentary, says real life slaughterhouse footage, an animal experience. Yeah, you imagine all of that kind of stuff being done to humans. Be horrendous. I think it'll make a great film. There's there's four episodes on at the minute, um, Tom, and I'm making the fifth episode soon. Um, they get better as they go. So the first time I did the first one, <laughs> I lived there and I saw you. Fuck's <laughs> sake, John. You did crack me up. You're not one of the people working in the caves, though, because if you was, I'm glad you finally watched it. Um, yeah, there's four episodes on at the minute. I'm going to do the fifth one soon. That's what said. They did that to me after I told them I was against animal abuse. Sent sent me for a butcher's job. Smiley said, "Human centipede is um, messed up." Yeah, well, my film would make that look mild, mate. That would make that look mild. Oh, Zed said to Carman, "The doll once sent me to apply for a job in a factory that butchered chicken. I made damn sure I didn't get the job. The smell was awful for a start, and the rest of was pretty horrific." Tom said, I'm behind the bars next to the river sticks. <laughs> I thought I'd know you've actually been in there because that's actually a real place in there. You make me laugh, John. Um, Drop said, I would love to see all the CCTV of you running around. I oh, know. We so badly wanted to ask for it. That was a good day, that was. Yeah, Human Centipede's worth a watch. I, th I think the second one's the best one. The second one's the most disgusting, horrible one, put it that way. Carl said, it was before Christmas, my family needed money, so my dad took me to turkey plucking. Uh, 
All right, just going to check the donations thing. Has anyone sent any donations in? If you have, you've got to tell me. But please do, because you massively helped me out. You know, you basically helped me live. Uh, and he said, I've been on day release from Broadmoor. I'm doing okay. What is the Spy Files about? Is that what you mean, Tom? If you mean the Spy Files. So, the Spy Files is, it, it, it's explained in the documentary. So, basically, I was doing the live. I won't go on to the whole thing, but or I may. I was doing a live stream, and we found out that um, a lot of people had had bad experiences with spirographs. And we started joking out that joking about that they was evil. And when I looked into it, spirographs are genuinely made by the same company that invented Ouija boards. And that's no bullshit. That is 100% true, right? And then we come up with a joke that um, basically spirographs are evil, uh, they're bad. And if you are evil, They'll take you in and, and um, torture you. Some people get away with a thing called crinkle cut cock when they suck you into the hole and chop your foreskin off. And anyway, it spiraled and spiraled and spiraled into um, multiple stories. And then I decided to make a, a TV series about a group called Shit, which are spiro hunting and intelligence team. Right, hang on. Have their own merchandise. Let me just get back onto the camera so I can see myself. There's merchandise you can buy. This You can buy these and stickers. Come on, you fucker. Fucking focus. You can read that anyway. Um, and books. There's bloody books as well, I know. You can actually buy books of Spyroverse stories. So that's the brand. So that's the first one. That's the second one. These you can buy these on Amazon. That's the third one. And that's the new one. They're all Spyroverse stories about the evils of Spyrographs. And you know, they suck you in and torture you. Um that's a good logo, isn't it, Tom? It's a good logo. Yeah, I really like that. It's a good logo, isn't it? Yeah, who dare spins? Um, I think they're about four pounds fifty each. I think someone put the hang on. If you put exclamation mark book one, book two, book three, um, a link will come up. God, I need to show you this book I've got. NA thirty one. How you doing? You're right. Uh, it's a good logo, isn't it? Yeah, there's there's this one. I've not got a link for it yet, but I could get you a like a private link if you want. Uh, yeah, there's loads of content. So there's books, there's the series. Yeah, so the shit Spyro Hunting Intel team, we investigate these events that are happening. You know what I mean? Purpose said, oh, oh, yeah, just remember, yeah, four pounds fifty, yes. I highly recommend Spooky Rice. He does disturbing breakdowns on extreme moves. All right, Pepe. You, again, you may have to uh, drop. Would you like to? Um, would you like to uh, write uh, copy and paste that message for me, dropped <laughs> or metallic? Dad said the third story is somewhat nasty, but don't blame me. Mike made me do it. <laughs> made it as nasty as you can. He said, "Yes, yeah, great. It's great." Yeah, X Files, but even less believable. I think it's more believable. I'll have you know, dropped. I would show <sighs> Metallic. Shall I show them a tiny, tiny little clip of episode five as a as a fucking teaser? And if I should play some of the clips, like right, it's. <sighs> I don't know if I want to do CCC. Um. Cream. Mm, I don't want the suicide fucking warnings. This is right, JT Jensen. This is a this. So there are sort of fake adverts for it as well. We'll have a think about the other things. Good evening. Tonight on Tales from the Spiderverse, we'll tell you the cautionary tale of Monty the dog. A dog who was found in a house. Completely covered in gore. All the walls had 
biographic pictographs drawn on them, and the pop in question was found covered in blood, and no remains of his owners were ever found. To this day, Monty the dog won't go near spirographs, because spirographs are bad. One day, we were doing spirographs, and we asked Monty, Monty, would you like to do a spirograph with us? No, spirograph. <laughs> Monty says you can fuck right off with your spirograph bullshit. No, spirograph. Fuck off, do man. Or is it a Desmond? like to tell you the kid kept up the good game and that Monty did a spirograph, but life in the spiroverse isn't a fairy tale. No spirograph. No spirograph. Carl said I like Monty. Look, Monty's pretty fucking cool. Monty's great. There's one issue with him though. Monty's nickname is Kid Killer. Um, so make of that what you want. The name's pretty explanatory. Um, <laughs> he's, fucking, he's called Kid Killer nowadays, mate. Um, Richard said they're also flame retardant. Someone tried to... Oh, the books. Yeah, they're flame retardant. Jock said, I have a strong feeling that most people watching these streams as a lurker, Carl. Yes. There's a few, there's a few clips. So I'd gut if there won't be a live stream when the baby's here. That is his favourite ever YouTuber. Well, we could do one while he's there if you wanted, but we probably won't, will we? <laughs> There's loads of Spyverse content. I'll, I'll show you one of the old book clips. This is the old Spyverse book clip. I need to do a new one because there's more books now. You know me. It's frightening how many Spyro books I've published. And here they are, all two of them. Get them now from all good Amazon stores. From WC and ZNRZ, we introduce the tales from the Spyroverse. If you only buy one Spyro book, buy these, which is all of them. To order, just click the links in the description. He hates them, Carl. He's lucky there's any kids alive around here. He rips their throats out, mate. He cannot stand them. I don't know what it is. I think he, I don't know. He fucking hates them. He's a lovely dog. Children, though, they're his fucking mortal enemy. I think he thinks that to do with the Spyroverse. I don't know. <laughs> He's not that bad, I'm joking. But uh, No, he, he doesn't seem to like children a lot. It, it, different certain circumstances, he's perfectly fine. And then in other, uh, in other times, the fact that nah, it would be live and he would be in the room, yeah, yeah, no, it wouldn't be worth it, would it? Yeah, Monty the CCC ones, just like I say. But yeah, there's quite a few clips. I don't know how many of them I want to put Crinkle Cut Cuisine on, but I'll keep getting... Put it this way. If I play Crinkle Cut Cuisine advert, I keep getting a warning before... You can't go on the live stream unless you agree to being warned of suicide content. All right? Carl, there's a whole playlist of all of it. Go to the Spyroverse playlist... Watch the documentary. You don't necessarily have to watch the first book reading because you could watch it later on on its own. When you're into it, you might get more into the books then, but they might be a bit much at first. So watch the first half of the documentary and then the last couple of minutes, and then watch the Spyro files, and then watch all the adverts. It's great stuff. It's great. Yeah, tactical. I think it's the Crinkle Cut Cuisine one because I point the gun in my fucking face. Pepper said, have you seen the competition of uncut kills from the game Man Up to... I have, yes. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, compilation. I'm pretty sure I have. Basically, it's funny as fuck. It is. It is. Here's one. Um, 
Yeah, this is this, there are products you can buy to stop yourself being sucked into um sucked into the nether regions. You do not insert it up your rectum. That's the mistake people make. It's to stop you being sucked down a hole. So the broomstick stops you being sucked into it. You wait till you see episode five of the Spy Files. If you like that, you're going to love episode five. I forgot the best fucking one going. This is all Spyverse content, by the way. I forgot. This is this is one of the best ones. I can't. I would recommend you going and finding Crinkle Cut Cuisine. I'm not going to play it tonight because it keeps getting me in slight trouble. One of my favourite videos in the world, and I can't play it. This is a good one, though. That's one of my imaginary TV shows that don't exist. I may make at least one episode of that one day. <laughs> I don't have to go watch the episodes. I think you'll like them, mate. Yeah, the documentary explains everything that's going on. And then the episodes are the things. So I think the episodes start off at about 12 minutes, then about 15 or 20, then about half an hour, and then the last one's about 50 minutes. So be prepared. But yeah. I hope you like them, mate. I hope you like them. Um, if you do, though, please let me know because, uh, yeah, that's really good fun. It's mental. That's the thing. You just need to, what you need to, some people don't get it and they get a bit weird about it. It's just pure escapism and fun. You know what I mean? It's, it's the, the whole fucking thing of it is to give us all a good laugh. And also, what I've done, Tom, is. A lot of the people in the chat right now are involved in it. So I, I try to get all of the community in into it as well. So they do acting or voiceovers or ideas, stuff like that. Yeah. I know there's been a few people who couldn't fucking handle it, Tom, and got a bit weird about it and unsubscribed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lewis said, would you rather get CCC or turn into the Elephant Man when you go out for longer than 75 minutes? The Elephant Man thing, probably, because that wouldn't that wouldn't really cause me much issue because I don't really go out. <laughs> I, I mean, I'd have to be the Elephant Man on the way to Metallics. When I want to get there, I'd be all right again because I'd be back in again. I'll be home again. And when I go to Metallics, I am home. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I've 
I fucking love the Spyro Files and the Spyroverse. I love it. Yeah, I've so far I have made so for the new content, I've made four new videos and I'm 90% done with episode five. When my hair's long enough, I'll do the conference scene. And then that'll be I think that's gonna so there'll be right for, for the people who aren't aware how the Spyroverse stuff is shown. It often gets shown first on a big, long live stream. So it's a premiere, but you have a live chat on it. So on something like May the... I'll tell you when. It will either be May the 18th or May the 25th will be the brand new Spyroverse um, stream. You can chat like this, but all the videos will be Spyroverse related. There'll be the brand new episode, a load of new content, and then a new book reading, and then at the very end, episode one, two, three, four, or five again, just so you can see them all. Matat said, need to get the rest of the adverts people made on the playlist. Yes, yeah, I do, yeah, yeah. Well, I've not even got all of my ones on there, I don't think. Rita said, you sleep like the elements. You sleep like the elephant already. Yes, exactly, Rita. Yeah, look. <laughs> You're not even joking. I already sleep like the elephant, man. <laughs> Look how high they are. <laughs> you make me laugh, Rich. You make me laugh because you remember things. You're a bit like Taz, you know, that you don't drink. <laughs> you do make me laugh. Tom said, got questions. Do you make most of your knives? Um, any of my new knives I do, Tom. Yeah, I am... Um, I very rarely get any. Hello, burnt dice. I'm drunk as well. I'm drinking. I'm drinking these. Look, I will carry on the top. Yeah. So, um, the majority of the knives I get, I either make them or I very rarely get any new knives. I only ever get new knives as presents from people. So, yeah, so it'll often be you know some of the people in the chat will get me knives for Christmas and um. Birthday, Zed does, and you know, there's a couple other people to get me things, but yeah, most of my knives because I can't actually afford to buy knives. I will buy something like a weed slasher, which costs seven quid, and I can make a sword out of that. Drop said, Not quite drunk, but making my way there. Tom said, The only knife I got is a little pen knife. So I'll show you what, Tom, right? So, and anyone else. You see this? Let me show you what you can make out of one of these. So you see that? That is a weed slasher. These are a tall steel that's hardened and tempered, so it goes back straight. Right? They cost seven or eight quid. I'll show you what I made out of one of those. There's a few things. That sword up there is, is one, but I'll show you my latest one. So, this was made from a weed slasher. Not really, Tom. I wouldn't say so. You can make them with very basic tools. And it's sharp. This is my version of an Excalibur. WC is Weapon Collector 24. And it's got a lovely leather sheath. Scabbard. Yeah, angle. Yeah, pretty much. You could probably, yeah, you could make one of these with an angle grinder or a little belt sander. And some other basic tools. And then the first really detailed one I made was this one. This is a half size Witcher sword. There's two of these. I've got one. Metallic's got one. Full tang as well. Leather sheath again. Yeah. So the basic material for the blade, seven quid. 
And most of the stuff I get, I get it's scrap anyway. The only thing I had to pay for was the leather, really. That's that's um HDP chopping board. That's a bit of scrap aluminium and a nail. A bit of scrap steel. Yeah, the most expensive thing on these is probably the fucking leather. Yeah, so that's how I do a lot of my stuff. I'll do it with scrap materials and um, things that you can use for blade blanks that are quite cheap. Thank you, Pete. Sexy thing. I think he was talking about me and not the knife. And he said, I'm thinking about putting a, a Sam's on the van. What? What's that? I don't know what that is, mate. Drops in. It's all hush-hush around here all of a sudden. What's happened, mate? They're not that difficult. They're not that difficult. I've got videos. I've got videos showing you how to make most of those. Burnt dice is probably propaganda, but I, I thought the Brits were poor from the taxes. I'm very poor because my job is YouTube and I don't get paid. But um, no, no, our taxes aren't, aren't too bad. It's no different to America. It's just most of our taxes are already done. So, you know, when you go to a shop and you don't have to um, add on the tax to the price yourself, we don't have to do that. The, the price is already, the tax is already in it. Um, and then you get, you know, you get income tax and all that. But then you, most of the time, you get a tax rebate at the end of the year. Drop said, that's a ceremonial wedding sword. Don't like it. Well, pretty much, pretty much. There's a sword of film Excalibur for sale at HMV. They want 25 quid. I wouldn't pay that for it. Excalibur's a good film, but I wouldn't pay that for it. Rizzo said, the, the handle even has pre-drilled holes, so you don't need to drill hard and steel. Exactly, Rich. Exactly, mate. Exactly. JT said, I find scabbards harder to make. But yeah, that's true, mate. That is true. Yes. Um, I always found doing scabbards a right pain in the ass. Um, leather's all right to work with. Kydex, you can't get big enough. Wood can be difficult because often they're really big. Yeah. Pepper said, I was thinking about moving countries. Well, you know, if you can, not really an option for a lot of people, is it? But also, I don't have an angle grinder or anything. I've got old tools. A little belt sander, maybe. Something that could grind the edge on. Yeah, have a look through my back catalogue. Yes, exactly. Carl said, I had a random thought. What's everyone's thoughts on EMPs? I don't really know, mate. I don't really know much about it. <clears throat> Don't forget, it's a Saturday night, so we're trying to keep it light. Um, I need to go and get another beer. Um, I don't know what to do. Mike needs another beer. I fucking knew it! Oh! Any excuse to play that clip? All right, let me find a long clip I can play for you when I go and get a beer. You can watch me and Matai getting married if you want. Pepe said, Where wherever's better freedom? Yeah, all right. Here's me and Matai getting married one time. We have been married at least 14 times now, I think, haven't we, my queen? I know I've got at least nine rings and I've fucking missed a few of them. <laughs> Hang on, let me count how many rings I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. 10. We've been me and Metallica have been married at least 10 times. Right, let's not get too deep about you know shit that goes on in the country. We want to have a laugh tonight. We don't want depression. Okay. There are other streams for that. Here you want to have a laugh. Okay. Here's a video of me and Metallica getting married for maybe the fourth time. I'll be back when it ends. It's only a minute and a half. Crown my king. My king, your sword, to have forever, longer than your own. Thank you. You're welcome. Tiara, oh my queen. Your sword, my queen. I thank you, my king. Oh. 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 
I give you a pearl necklace, my queen? Of course you may, just don't get it in my hair. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Did you enjoy that? I certainly did. That's good. That's good. Now where's my corner? Coming up now. Oh. 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 Check it out. You want a climax, do you, Pete? That might be that sort you out. Yeah, and then a couple of hours after that, this happened. Oh, where's she gone? She was missing. Oh, oh there she is. She's just... Oh, asleep. Oh, I better, better wake my lovely queen up then. <laughs> yes, I am back. Yeah, mission accomplished. Uh, dropped. These, these, are, these taste better warm. I don't know how one's gone off on that. was horrible. Ugh, that's fucking dirty. That thin and date. I actually prefer them warm. That's fucking disgusting, cold. I still drink it though. <laughs> Whose weapons? All of your weapons. Lewis said, so what's the deal with gnomes? Pretty cool fuckers, in my opinion. Oh, God. Carl said, she liked your sword, bro. Uh, bro, a master swordsman. Yes, I am. Well, I certainly am. Yeah. All right, Bill. How you doing, mate? That's a shame. They don't taste as nice fucking um, cold. Apple man, how you doing? You all right? I don't know if the can was dirty. I've wiped it now. Ooh, that's not very nice, guys. <laughs> Who knows the mean? Ugh, brother. Ugh. Every time I go, ugh, it makes me think of that. And he said, "Weapon put on music in the back." Oh, I've tried that before. You get copyrighted. I am drinking this car. That's the percentage it is. Tom said, would I be able to make any weapon without a belt, sander, or an egg grinder? Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Um, the best thing to do is get some kind of um, pre-made blade and just um, mod that. Tata, oh, no, drop, talked it up. The more you drink, the more you taste it. Yeah, apparently... I don't know, maybe it was just, I, I wondered if the lid, the top of the can was dirty or something. Pepe said, one of my favourite lines from Wire in the Blood. Um, what shows did Jack the Ripper watch? Uh, <laughs> did Christy have cable? Uh, Dad said, Lewis Quinn, I went to a place that covered in the thing, bloody dangerous. Oh, I had a look. Hello, Calvin, how you doing, mate? You're all right. 2024, 7th, 7th, 2024, so still in date. Yeah, still in date. How you doing, Kelvin? You're right, mate. So, by the way, if anyone wants to support this channel, you can. I don't um, I don't get any money from YouTube. I'm completely demonetized. And my job is YouTube, so I'm fucked, really. I don't get any benefits. I don't get any sort of handouts from the government. Nothing at all. Nothing. So any money I make is through YouTube. If that's donations or selling stuff or stuff like that. So if you'd like to donate, there's a thing called coffee where you can donate a couple of quid or you can donate as much as you want. The link is in the description and it's in the chat, whichever side it is. I never know. Right. I'll just play a little 30 second video of how to do it. It takes debit cards, credit cards and PayPal. I just have to say that because some people say, oh, I can't pay because blah, blah, blah. It takes most things that people would be able to. And you don't have to donate. It makes, you know. It will make no difference to you if you do or don't, but you just help me out. Do you know what I mean? So I'll just play a 30 second video, then I'll be back, right? See you in 30 seconds.
Don't, oh, Kelvin's had a new subscriber. I saw your video about self tense Oh, nice one. Yeah. I've, well, thank you for coming over and having a chat with us, mate. Um, <laughs> yeah. As Drop said, Ray, welcome, Kelvin. Brace yourself. No, but you should. The late night live stream, there, we talk about anything to a degree. We try to keep it light and have a laugh. You know what I mean? But yeah, no. Welcome, mate. And it's nice to know you came from there because that video is going absolutely mad at the minute. I have gained, I think my views are 307% up from normal. I have gained over a thousand more subscribers than I normally do. So I've I've gained over a thousand more subscribers than I normally do in a week than I normally would in a month. Yeah. But yeah, really good. <laughs> Kevin, skate while you can. Take no notice of them. It's a great place to be. Actually, Kevin, I think you'll find. <laughs> That's the funnest place to be. But yeah, if anyone does donate, please let me know because you, you know, you must be helping me out. So yeah. What are you up to tonight, Kelvin? Anyway, you having a, are you in the UK? Are you having a drink? Um, Metallic said, "Hey, Kelvin, welcome to the chat. Have you you have you've jumped in on the deep end? It's a drunk live stream. Yes, I don't normally do. Most of the live streams are normally sober, but tonight's a drinking one. Yeah, you wouldn't normally see me dressed like this. Who was it joking about? Someone said, I, I, I love your um, scarf shirt." Yeah, you're enjoying it, Carl. I hope so. You know, I just live streams. I do try to have a laugh. It, it's more of have a nice, you know, have a laugh and have a chat. You know what I mean? You don't want to have a serious live stream, do you? You know, unless unless you're getting paid for it, then maybe. Going to have loads of weapons that ain't legal because they're in my mind. Yes, is that that's keep them there. No one will ever know. Nice one, Carl. <laughs> Well, you know the rules, Andy. No politics, no religion, and then we're happy. You know what I mean? And keep it light. Have a laugh. It's a Friday night. I don't want to be depressed. You know what I mean? I think the problem is some people have an issue with... This is the way I would describe it to people, and everyone watching right now. I am not ever, ever telling you what to do. Not ever. That's not my fucking nothing to do with me what you do i am politely and respectfully <laughs> requesting you don't talk about certain things so that we can have a funner time there you go because i know some people have an issue with me you can't tell me what to do including our queen but you know I mean? but i'm not i'm not telling anyone what to do but we all have a better time when we're having a laugh you know what I mean? hello shane how you doing mate you're right Shane said, hi, mate. I'm out with the beautiful wife. Just popped in um, to drop a bit of beer money and say you're an absolute fucking edge. Thank you, Shane. Oh, Shane, look at this, mate. I hope you're having a great night. I'm on the 9 percenters tonight. I hope you're having a great night, Shane. That sounds good, mate. I hope you're having a fucking excellent night. Thank you, Shane. Let me go over and see if he's left us a comment. Oh, fucking hell, Shane. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Shane says she's back, so I have to give her all my attention. Take care, Shane. Thank you for the donation, mate. Shane, it's people like you that make this true. <laughs> That's the funnest place to be. You're a fucking legend, Shane. Thank you, mate. Shane's been single-handedly been keeping me going for the last fucking couple of weeks. Thank you, Shane. I appreciate that, mate. But that said, hey, Shane, and lovely missus. Yeah, I'll juggalo, yeah. We're jugglos. I'm a juggalo. Metallic's the juggalo. That said, Mike will be depressed when he sees what I've got him for his birthday. It's a length of steel, so he can finally make me have <laughs> the birthday juggalo. <laughs> If it is that, you'll get what you want. <laughs> Drop said, get a lazy eye, Shane. You can watch two things at the same time. Andy says, stood on the garden, seen a UFO. Might have been a plane, though, fuck's sake. Shane. What you, um, yeah, juggalette, exactly. Um, Andy, I don't know what Andy's been on tonight. <laughs> sucks, Shane. 
<laughs> yeah, my dad, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Exactly, my queen, exactly. No, but I'm not ever... The thing is, true, because I thought about it recently. Cause I, I, the thing is, I know people's attitudes to things. And I genuinely am not telling anyone what to do, ever. But sometimes people need to remember, on these live streams, I'm sat in my bedroom on a Friday night, and I take things personally. You know what I mean? And, you know, we all need to laugh. Who wants to be fucking... You know, this this is the escape from the shit. There's loads you of places. This is a you... fucking joke. This ain't Kenny Camera. There's no hidden cameras. I'm being absolutely straight with you. A fucking joke. Yes. There's loads of places you can go. There's loads of things you can watch if you want to be depressed. Put the news on. Read a newspaper. Go and watch, you know, other shit. But yeah. Um here. Let's have a fucking laugh, man. Let's have a laugh. Yeah, there's quite a few new names on tonight, isn't there, Andy? Richard, don't tell me you're telling me what to do. How dare you tell me you're not telling me? <laughs> yes. Yeah. How dare you tell me you're not telling me what you're telling me to do? Yeah, you got me there, Rich. You got me there. Carl said, bro, I can say what I want in this chat. Mods are on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, you know, let's have a fucking laugh, man. Let's have a laugh. Escape from this shit. Escape from this by joining shit. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. Become a member of shit. I'll keep wanting to play some of the new clips. Metallic, do you reckon I should show them a tiny little teaser of episode um, five to get their, get their fucking... Um... Oh, that tastes disgusting, Carl. That's real shame, that is. I'll still drink it though. The problem is I don't want to start fucking downing it because it's horrible. You're off. Oh, Ted, is that does that start at midnight? Good night, Ted. Take care, mate. Right, so everyone knows in about half an hour, this live stream will stop. And then I'll be going outside to live stream outside so I can be noisy because there are people um go to bed. Oh, good news is good night, Jed. Um you're right, Joe. Um, good news is my sister is back from the Hindu she's been to and she's safe and sound because they've been to London. So that's good. Um, I'm happy to see my sister in and shortly even drunk, <laughs> which means Susan's probably home as well. Potentially. I don't know. Um, and for all the other lot out there, if you're still out there, which I think you are, I hope you have a lovely night and stay safe. I hate saying stay safe. Piss it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, <laughs> yes. It raises back. I heard her on the phone. Tatasha. Go to London to get pissed. It's my idea of hell. Kelvin said, just giving you an imagination what he said. How you doing, Joe? You are right, mate? Yeah, oh, sorry. I didn't finish what I was saying. So in half an hour... This live stream will stop, and then I'll do a new one outside. That one will will have guests on talking. Drop, you're coming on in a bit, aren't you? I chat to the drop. Did anyone else want to come on? Um, who definitely the dropped. So maybe me and you will just have a nice conversation for a bit. Dropped. Um, but anyone else is welcome as well. Anyone? So Lewis, I think you're coming on straight away, aren't you? Then so me, you, and Drop can have a chat. Um, that will go on for about an hour and a half, maybe. And then we're going to do a private chat. So if you if you get on early enough and you ask me, I could send you an invite to that. You're off as well, John. Take care, mate. I'll still be on for a bit. I'll still be on. I may be on for another hour yet because they're all awake. So you know what I mean? Doc says, still can't believe you have that clip, but not the one of him saying I fucking knew it. What clip? You just confused me now. I've got that one. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, I'll still be on anyway. Yeah. Kevin said, "I'm leaving, but use your imagination." Wu Tang. Yeah, that's no, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Fair enough.
Yeah, I'll be on here for at least half an hour, maybe later. I don't know. If they're away, I might piss off in half an hour anyway. But yeah, I'll be back. I'll be when I go, I'll be back. <sighs> Lewis said, one of my workmates is on a hen do. What the touch? Yeah, that's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Well, these lot are on a hen do next weekend, I think, or the weekend after. Yeah. And I got confused when they said they was in London. I thought, hang on, why is they they said one of the names. I thought, oh, they don't know them. Oh, Carl, I'll be back, though. When I leave, I'm just going to go off for 15 minutes and set up another live stream, which is I can't do it in here because people are going to bed in rooms next to me. Pepper said, do you remember the scene from Jackie Brown where he shoots that woman because she keeps pissing him off? I know exactly how that feels. Yeah, yeah, Robert De Niro shooting um one of the Fonders. I can't remember which Fonder it is. Not Bridget Fonder, is it? Is it Bridget Fonder? Yes, that's a good scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, I know it's terrible what he does, but it's not. This, I no, I get it. I get it. Not necessarily with women taking you know annoying me, but it's a bit. It's a similar thing on the live streams that I warn people and I warn people and I warn people, and they don't fucking take any notice. And then when they get blocked. They send me fucking emails crying about it. And I genuinely think, what a fucking total fucking bellend that you've literally had six or seven warnings and then they cry about it when they get blocked. And I know that's not the same thing, but it, but it is. It is. You know what I mean? That's just a little, that's just a little, um, I can't think of the word. <coughs> It's a similar thing on the live stream, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Now nah, you're right, Miss. <laughs> you're fine, mate. Now nah, you're fine. <clears throat> it's just there's a lot of people who keep getting, they've been told and told and told and told. And then they, it is, I get it, but it's the crying about it afterwards that drives me mental. Don't sit there going on and on and on and having warning after warning after warning and then email me crying about it. You know, at least have the bollocks to accept the block after you've gone on, 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 Fred. You know, not you, but you know what I mean. But I said, everyone has a breaking point, and you can re can't really blame them for when they snap. Now, and I have a habit of doing that as well. In real life, I have a habit of, in fact, I don't warn people a lot of the time. In fact, you're, people are quite lucky if I do warn them. If I do warn them, it actually means I probably like you a bit. And I've given you a chance. You know what I mean, because if I don't like you, you won't get any warning at all, and then I'll just snap. And I have done that in real life. Um, so yeah, if you get a warning, I'd say be grateful of that because at least you know I'll, I'll give you a few. I'll give you three or four, maybe five warnings, and then it's done. You know what I mean, um, but I just can't believe people cry about it afterwards. You know, take it like a fucking man. Don't fucking ball about it after send me messages saying, Oh, you got me. Fuck off. You know, fucking pathetic. <laughs> Tom said, You have a dream collection. Tom, I've got more than this. I've got 24 crossbows, I think. I, th I don't actually know. I can't even remember now. Tactical said, Yeah, it's like that one who complained at you when I blocked him twice. I put exactly tactical. There's been one recently who, um, who's been blocked for literally not shutting their gob after I warned them five or six times um, and then sent me a message crying about it. And I think, you were warned multiple times. And had they taken the warning, they'd be perfectly welcome here now. It's just, it's, you know, that's that's like the thing with, oh, you know, um, you can't tell me what to do. I'm not telling anyone what to do. I'm respectfully asking people you know, I'm not telling anyone what to do. But they, pff, that's fucking weird, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I, in real life, I have a habit of um, I won't tell someone they're winding me up and then I'll suddenly snap. And in the old days, that snapping used to be whacking someone around the head with a bit of wood or a metal bar or something like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Tom said, what's the guns on the wall with the bayonet? Um, looks like a grows. All right, Tom. If you can actually tell me what that gun is, or anyone, anyone in the stream can tell me what that gun is, 
<laughs> without cheating, you fuckers, the ones who already know, don't you tell me. For anyone who doesn't already know what that gun is, if you can tell me what that gun is, I'll give you one of these fucking books. Or something else. Something else. I'll give you that gun. I'll give you the money myself. <laughs> zip luck, zip lips. Exactly, exactly. The best thing is tactical. I'd love it that when people try and spoil it and still get it wrong. <laughs> it's like Lewis. Wrong answer, Lewis. Wrong answer. <laughs> So close, but yet so far. Oh, God. Yes, so close, but so far away at the same time. Pete said, talk shit, get hit. That's a classic. Yes, exactly. But, yeah. No, it's not a famous. Not, not a Type 52. Not uh, yeah. No, no one's right, yeah. <laughs> so Lewis is going to go through every number in the fucking thing now. Don't. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying now. I was getting quite excited then. Mother's explosions can be heard. Really? Fucking hell, mother. Get fucking safe, mate. I'd say I'd say what it is, but apparently I remember it as a blanket. Yes. <laughs> That's quite a rare gun. It is basically a bullpup rifle, a bullpup version of an AKM. And that is a Chinese type 86S bullpup rifle. You were so close. You were so close, um, Lewis, but not quite. Yeah. Chinese type 86S bullpup rifle. Yeah. There was only ever 2,000 in, um, imported into America. Carlton, I came in to chew gum and kick ass. I'm all out of gun. Lewis said, Mother, get safe. Will you have a mic after you? <laughs> Yeah, and I'll have you know, mother, I know where you live. <laughs> actually do. actually do. And he knows where I live. And that's why he's on the Discord. Well, that sounds like a right bastard, mother. Mother can get away with um, talking about... Um, the stuff we wouldn't normally talk about because he's living it. He's literally living through it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like the old ball pot. I bought that deliberately because it was very unusual. Very unusual. I think there are, at, at one point, there were three videos of, about them guns on YouTube. Nothing else. There may be more now. But yeah, there was only, there was two thousand imported into America, and then they were blocked, um, banned. Sorry, not blocked. Uh, Lewis said, "Next, Mike will start saying, do you know who I am?'" <laughs> you will. I won't do that. I won't do that. Oh, by the way, by the way, are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Uh, I bought that from a place called um, <laughs> Ro Ro and he said Ronnie then. I bought that from a place called Rain, no, Worldwide Arms Limited, but they've shut down now, sadly. They shut down last year. The bloke the bloke who owned it died, and I don't think the people running it wanted to carry on. Like, is, you know, the rest of the company. That's a shame. Worldwide Arms Limited. Um, yeah, Ronnie Pickering, exactly. <laughs> No, the closest you'll get to any Ronnie is this. This is me and my twin brother when we go out. When I find it. Where the fuck is it? I thought it was lower than that. Hang on, hang on. We'll get there in a minute. <laughs> you have to wait. So the closest this is the, this is the only Ronnie you'll get here. <laughs> you are, you are, Fandy. Good night, mate. No, you didn't. Get, I don't think you got timed out once tonight, Andy. Well, not by me, anyway. No, you didn't get timed out. See you later, Andy. Take care, mate. No, everything I own, Tom, doesn't need any um, licenses. But that said, if you are anything like me, Pepe, you'll panic by crossbows <laughs> every time they start knife lord. I panic by. Right? 
Yeah. Good night, Andy. Um, yeah. No, nothing I own needs licenses until they bring out crossbow licenses, and then they'll all need licenses. Mm -hmm. No, no one has been on Naughty Dog. No, I don't think they have. I don't think they have. I've deleted a couple of comments just so I didn't have to read them, and, and other people didn't start. So I'll, I'll just tell you like this, right? If you ever get a comment deleted and it's not mentioned, that's just because I don't want conversations starting. Because there are some topics that, yeah, in certain circumstances, they could be interesting to talk about, but not not on these late night live streams. These are, you know, these are drab laughs. So sometimes I'll delete comments that are going to start a conversation that I don't want to join in on. You know what I mean, that's all it is. No one's in trouble. It's just, I think, I don't want to be talking about shit. Yeah, stop it, snowball. Exactly, Pete. That's the perfect way to put it. Yeah, no one's in trouble. It's just, yeah, it just stops it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't test me, Metallica. I will not be tested. <laughs> oh, dear, you laugh. Uh, how would that even work? I don't know, mate. I don't know. I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a fucking clue. Oh, man, said, bro, I've got my bad anxiety. Delete my own comment. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, that's, well, that's, that's a good thing in a way, Carl, because it means you're, at least you're aware of, you know. Yeah. Talking about spanners, these don't get played very often because it became a slight issue with something. But yeah, Metallic has her own clips that she never gets to use in regards to spanners. Naughty Neuter, this is your first warning. <laughs> I threw that spanner. Full scale spanner bashing for you, you naughty neuter. You can stay there until you learn how to behave. <laughs> yeah, and then sadly that got so much I had to block someone. Yeah, and then he got banned. <laughs> exactly, technical. Exactly, exactly. It's like, don't make me throw a spanner at you tonight. I get to choose how long you spend on the naughty step. Yes. Oh, fuck's sake. Right. Don't push it, Tom. I'm starting to wonder if you're someone else now. <laughs> Joking. Just remember, I am the most paranoid motherfucker you'll ever meet. And I question everything. That's actually true. That's actually true. But no, I'm all right. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, start correcting, Tom. Although you'll be, nowadays, you'll be more restrictive of what you can get, and it's a lot more expensive. I, I, do you know what I really wish I bought more of when I was younger? Right, some of you know me quite well. This may be a hard one to answer, and I like doing my, um, I like doing my, guessing games that people can't answer but what do you think i wish i bought more of when i was younger if you know me well you might be able to get it think about it so think for your answer think about it it's something i don't have a lot of otherwise i would have got them it's something i don't have a lot of something i would struggle to afford now and something that i would like what do you think i wish i bought years ago that are very expensive now yeah, <laughs> fine, because I'll fucking have you know I've got plenty of fucking air. It's just very short. <laughs> Shit bag drop. <sighs> Someone's already correct. Mother said she's not lying. Last time I was, I was 1.8 thousand minutes. Carl said, Army likes paranoid people <laughs> because they're more aware. Exactly, Carl. That's true, though. That's true. Natalia said, Pepe, all the mods have a blue spanner by their name. Dropped is wrong. Pepe is wrong. Tactical is wrong. Carlman's wrong. Lewis is wrong. Richard is right. Antique swords. Antique swords. I wish I bought more antique swords when I was younger. Because they was a lot cheaper. And um, they're fucking decent. Don't ever be fooled because they're old. Antique swords are the dog's fucking bollocks, mate. They're dog bollocks. Iron Man said, how many taxi drivers have you drank? <laughs> Shit back, Iron Man. I'm on the second can. I've been taking it proper each. I haven't been, I, could I want to be up till five o'clock in the morning. So no, I'm only on the second. Yeah. Uh, about a quarter through a second one. Now, I, Rich has a good remember. Rich has a good memory. He remembers things. Nick said, you should check it. You you should all check it out. I think you guys love it. What's that, John? Oh, oh, nobody. I've seen nobody. Oh, is it on iPlayer? Okay, there's a recommendation for you all. 
I've seen Nobody. It's a very good film. It's on iPlayer. Thank you, um, John. Good recommendation. Yeah, so what will happen in about 20 minutes, maybe, I'll go off. Give me 15 minutes to start a new live stream, and then I'll be back. And then we'll be on till 5 o'clock in the morning, hopefully. Yeah, I'll get some guests on. I think we'll have Lewis on. Lewis, you're joining in, yeah. Um, Drop, you're coming on, in. Yeah, you? You're always on, in, yeah. <clears throat> Would you like me to bring my bag of goodies out so you can see them? Or should I leave them here? Lewis said, um, I always buy them when I can, Mike. I've been given one on a landscape. Yeah, that's excellent, isn't it? Yeah, I've only got one proper antique sword up there. Um, proper decent. That's fucking six or seven hundred quid sword, that is. Um, over a hundred years old. They are the dog's bollocks. They're, they're proper working. If you want a fucking sword, the thing is you buy modern swords nowadays and they're not they're not always fully working swords. You get an antique sword, especially if that's like a, um, a war-issued sword, that's a fucking fully working, battle-ready sword. Do you know what I mean? And they're better, they're better fucking um, built than any fucking things you can buy nowadays, most of the time. For the price, well, exactly tactical. Yeah, rat tame bollocks. Yeah, um, those antique ones—they're fucking battle-ready swords that someone had to rely on, to you know, for their fucking life. That's why they're the dog bollocks. Yeah, and I never registered that. And when I was younger, I used to think, "Oh, antique, that's old and shit." Now I know better. So learn from my mistakes. Drop said, no need to be Santa tonight, mate. Keep your bag of goodies inside. Okay, mate. Okay, fair enough. No, you want a surprise, don't you? Well, Dad said, going to be talking meet a kit tonight, Dropped. Bob said, not sure if I'll be on the private chat. Getting tired. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Oh, and I'll try to catch the next one. Yeah, no, it's been nice having you on, Pepe. I always enjoy talking to you, mate. And it's been nice having you on on the um, late night streams. Um, but yeah. Are you going off now or are you staying on till I go off? Rita, still remember the car boot where you got that screen that shows the supporters. Uh, there was a camera tripod, but they wanted too much. And you saw the same tripod for three quid and delivered it walked past. Exactly. Yeah, Richard's got such a good memory. Yeah, I went back, I went back past the other stall with the tripod so that he saw it. <laughs> yeah. He said like 15 quid or something stupid. Carl said, neighbours came banging on my door at 3am, man. 3am, telling me to turn the music down. I went to sleep at 12. No music whatsoever. That's strange, isn't it? Drop said, if you show up tonight again, Pepe, take off the hat. <laughs> Pepe says, staying on for now, but got a lot of work tomorrow. <laughs> Metallic said, feel for you, Carl. I have shitty neighbours too. Yeah, you had a bit of an incident recently, didn't you? If I was down metallic, we would have fucking we would have done him over, mate. My queen, we would have done him over. Now better shut up. That's frets I've just done there. I'll go around their ass soon. <laughs> Let's get some butt fasting and cause some mayhem, shall we, my queen? I don't mind getting arrested where you are, because no one knows who I am. Joking. I'll get arrested around here. Uh, Jay -Z's, JT said I have English cutlass um, here in Denmark. It's rusty but really sharp. Papa said, we know, we both know why I wear a hat. Carl said, I specifically, I specifically remember yesterday's stream saying I was tired. No, I said, I remember my first sword, still have it, British made, Paul Bin's custom, full tang, smashed some shield in the time. Got blessed. Yeah, that sounds good, mate. Carl says, so glad I've got cameras. Yeah, I've got cameras. I've got four or five cameras, I think. Um, yeah, it's worth having cameras. They're, they're well worth having. And they're, they're reasonably priced nowadays. Iron Man, you still on? Um, the cold cans of that fucking Carpeki were horrible. They're fucking horrible compared to... I prefer the warm cans. <laughs> That's good. How's the flowers and fates going up yours, WC? <laughs> I hate it, Tactical. I hate it. In my day, you couldn't even have benches around because we used to rip the fuckers up, put them in the middle of the road and get drunk. That actually really happened. Yeah. I basically one night got a bit bored, ripped a bench out the floor, 
put it in the road and sat there getting drunk. I was arrested within half an hour, but still, I didn't give a fuck. Um, yeah, you couldn't even have benches around in my day. Now they've got fancy signs and flowers and fucking um, fakes. And it's disgraceful. It's disgraceful tactical. What has happened? What has happened? You couldn't have none of that in my day. I don't think they even used to have the fucking... Um, <laughs> half the fucking things they used to do up here, they, they didn't do in my day. Because you couldn't do it. <laughs> Carl said they are called Tamo. What's that? Oh, cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. By the way, if anyone wants to donate a little bit of money to pay for tonight's internet, please do. It's I have put five quid credit on tonight. Anyone but Richard, because he paid for us last time. That's how it said. Remember yesterday how you were bitching about the posh part being prettier than you? Yeah, it's just look. This is this is the class divide <laughs> in evidence, right? I was looking for a post box. So I thought, fuck it. I'll, instead of going up there, I'll go on Google Maps and do Street View um, and see what the post boxes are like. Because I wanted to see if they bit, had a bigger slot so I could put bigger packages in. Right? My area is the council estate. The ship tip council estate. The bus stops are literally no seats, just a pole with a bit of metal on, right? As you go further up the village, it gets a little bit better that might have a bench and a shelter. You go right up the other end where it's fuck it was a fucking disgraceful, wasn't it? You go right up the other end where where all every house is uh, a bought house, their bus stops are made of pretty fucking oak with tiles, right? An electronic fucking sign. Nowhere in the whole entire village has that, apart from this one place. And the whole entire bus stop is of the flowers. I was fucking disgusted, wasn't I, Metallic? I wanted to go up there and smash it up, teach them fuckers a lesson. <laughs> I would have in the old days. That would have been gone, mate. Matt said, Mike, I think I am out of it, bud. See you next time. I'm ready. Now, fair enough, Matt. Good night, mate. Um, We'll get you on one night. If you wake up suddenly, come on. I'll send you an email. I'll, I'll send you the link to the chat just in case. But, yeah, good night, man. Take care, mate. Now, I get it. If you've been drinking since early, I'd be fucked as well. Good night, mate. Tom's a weird question. Um, what's your favourite kind of camo? <sighs> DPM. DPM, mate. A bit of DPM. I was going to get you some DPM out, but my drawer went open. Good night, Matt. I hope you had a good one. JT said, Cutlass found in a container, an old smithy getting ripped down. Oh, I bet that was fucking great. Yeah. Probably an old um, Kappa trophy. Is that? Yeah, that sounds great, JT. I bet that's decent. Pepe said, that's the thing about liking femboys. Sure, he looks like a chick when he's in his early 20s. Then he gets older and less cute and ends up <laughs> looking like us. They kick him out of the house. <laughs> oh, God, what made you mention that? That's going to have mad that has. Lewis and I remember throwing bottles and bricks at coppers um, as kids and adults praising us for getting sticks and brick mandles and smashing it. Oh, exactly, exactly, Lewis, exactly. Dark said, superstars of vague focus alternative rock. <laughs> Fat man chuckling band. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, God. Carl said, I'm up for the long run tonight. I dare my neighbours to bang on my door again. Yeah. Carl said, I was fast asleep. I think she might be, <laughs> might be schizophrenic. That's bizarre, isn't it, though? Oh, I'll tell you what happened to me once, though. I nearly... Maybe she had the same issue I did, right? <laughs> this would make you laugh. It wasn't good for me, though, at the time. At one point, I had unknown um, heart palpitations in the night. And those heart palpitations... I also couldn't sleep at the time, so I was put in... Um, I had to sleep on the floor. It's a bit of a weird thing. I was getting heart palpitations, and I kept waking up with this boom, 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 right? I swear to God, I thought it was some kind of music, bass music, coming from the next-door neighbours. I spoiled it by saying I had heart palpitations, really. I, I kept thinking it was bass sound coming from the neighbours' house. I kept getting woken up by this boom, boom, boom in my head. 
Yeah, and it, ended up, it turned out it was my heart beat in the end. And I'd nearly gone around next door and banged on their door saying, can you please stop doing that fucking music? It's driving me mental. But it wasn't. Yeah. No, they weren't fucking. It was literally my own heartbeat in my ears and I couldn't recognise it because, yeah, I was so fucked at the time. Someone tell Tom what that means. Pepper said I'd mentioned it because I used to be one of them hair that started to fall out. Oh, I get you, mate. Yeah. What the fuck happened to your face? Oh, God. But at that time you thought my neighbour was in trouble. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? That was because of, yeah, went full peep and Tom. Yeah, I thought my neighbour was getting attacked once and she was banging on the door. Turned out I was playing a computer game that was sending like secret sounds down the mic down the speakers. Yeah, and it fucking genuinely, I was going to go around there and make sure she wasn't being killed, but I wasn't sure. So I had to stand on the green outside my house, looking in her windows to see what was happening. <sighs> yeah, that was funny, wasn't it, Metallic? I rung you up at the time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> cars are bitching, exactly, Lewis. Right, I'll tell you what it means, um, Tom. When I was younger, I used to get in a lot of trouble with the police, and um, they was proper sort of dodgy sort of bent coppers. They was bastards. Um, they would try arresting us for stuff we hadn't done, so fitting us, fitting us up for crimes we hadn't done, tried beating us up. And you've got to remember, I was about 15, 16, 17 at the time, um, and I never used to resist arrest either. So it wasn't even like I was trying to fight them. If I got arrested, I didn't used to care. I didn't used to run away. I would just do the crime. And then if the police came, I got caught. Um, you know, if I couldn't be asked to run. Um, you know, and then I've had one try to beat me up. I had the police try to spread. Um, police going around trying to tell people I was homosexual to try and cause like issues around the community, pathetic shit like that. Proper fucking sad bastards. So that means all cops are bastards. Yes, very bizarre. Those freak shows. Yeah, pathetic cunts basically. Yeah. Yeah, very very bizarre. Pepe said, well, it's not just femme guys who look less cute when they get older. Well, yeah, exactly, mate. But yeah, yeah, I've had a lot of um, a lot of issues with you know, I obviously don't think all police are bastards, but those ones were. Lewis, I'll tell you what happened, right? I was up the village one night and I got drunk, and me and my mate Nick had decided to sit outside the shops at about four o'clock in the morning, have a little sleep. This notorious copper who used to like basically beating up teenagers saw me outside the shops. He was off duty, got out of his car, pulled me up off the ground, and then started to try started to try and start a fight with me, knowing I was a lot smaller than him and smaller, you know, lighter and smaller, pissed out of my face, trying to make me fight him, basically so he could batter me and have a legitimate reason for it, right? I knew what he was doing. So every time I, every time he tried to do something, I could sort of, so he kept trying to sort of chuck me on the ground. So I'd sort of let him chuck me on the ground, but I'd sort of grab him at the same time. So he'd end up getting pulled down with me, but not enough to make him start. He wanted me to hit him basically. So he could, you know, beat the shit out of me. Um, but I didn't have none of it. At one point he chucked me on the floor and stamped on my arm. I had a boot mark on my arm. Right. And then he got in his car and fucked off, right? I went home, told my mum and dad the next day. I was about 16 at the time, maybe 17, you know. I probably weighed about fucking nine stone at the time. I wasn't I wasn't like this. I'm not tall. I'm quite small. You know what I mean? Um, not that that means anything, because, you know, I used to have a fair share of fights and fight people bigger than me and still win. But anyway, you know... Uh, went home, told my mum, she went mental. You're right, we're going to take you to the doctors, we're going to get some evidence, and we're going to get this fucking bloke done. Because he was, he, was, he was a total prick. He used to do it a lot to teenagers. Grown men, he wouldn't do nothing to them. But as soon as it was um, 
like a, a small drunk teenager, he, you know, he'd be basically battering them. Um, and, you know, sort of, yeah, thought it was hard because of that. Um, so my mum took me to the doctor and she said, can you take down evidence of these injuries? Because we want to take this to court. But she never told the doctor specifically what it was. Right. Done a complaint with the police. And then the police said, OK, we'll send an officer around to interview you about it. The policeman who came around to interview me, I looked through my spy hole. And at the moment I looked through my spy hole, I knew nothing would happen because the policeman who came to interview me, I had watched beat one of my mates up on a different occasion. So he was exactly the same. And he came in, interviewed me, basically was sort of standoffish and made, you know, the whole entire time wasn't being um, unbiased. He was, you know, oh, you must have done, you know, fucked off. And then about a week later, got a letter from them saying, um, no further evidence will be taken. Um, you can't prove anything because you didn't tell the doctor what the um, evidence was for. Yeah. I knew nothing would happen. And, and that's the thing. That's what the police force was like around my area. The only fucking good thing with the police around my area at the time was they were also the most inept bunch of motherfuckers you could ever see. So if you did have a bit of a criminal... Um, I can't read the word. If you had a criminal lifestyle, that was thick as fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. I suspect now that some of the things, there were a couple of court cases I went through that I just admitted it. I look back now thinking, had I not admitted to that, they probably never would have proved it. They were so fucking dumb. Tactical said, we had one called Fathead. We used to do the same thing. Yeah, bastard, didn't they? Bastard, Tactical. <laughs> That's good. Not quite tall, small. <laughs> New wicked <Mickey Rudolph. laughs> sake. Carl said hey, each officer is satisfied on how many arrests they've made. So they all try to make arrests. Uh, they ask how many arrests they've made and they move. Yeah, I don't have nothing against the police um, in general, right? I know you have to have police and I can respect a decent policeman, but um, bent coppers are worse than any fucking criminal going. You think of the most scummy fucking criminal there is, right? A bent copper is worse than that because a, a policeman is supposed to be the person who you go... Well, not I wouldn't. I've never rung the police, and I never would because, you know, I sort it out other ways. But um, they're supposed to be there for when you, you know, when people need help for things and bent coppers they they are they they're more scummy than any um criminal ever because they are portrayed as the the people who are supposed to be doing good and, and you know what I mean I don't need to explain that but yeah Tom said thought you said cookie and pause for a second one last man how you doing mate he said I don't want to rob you I think nobody can rob you uh just a random thought <laughs> so, Yes. Right, I'm going to have a quick piss in a minute, and I'm going to, going to see when I'm going to go and see how long I need to be on for. I might go off in about a quarter or two anyway. It's, I don't think them a lot are asleep. I think everyone's awake still. But yeah, drunk streams often go into um, confession. Confession. We haven't had a proper confession stream, phrase, but I'm not going to. Tactical said, he grabbed uh, me by my throat on the Metro just because I didn't have a ticket. Bloke got off and offered to be my witness. He would have made my life hell if I'd gone further. Yeah, that's decent that someone would have been a witness for that, though. I, that, I really fucking respect that. that and that's, that's lovely that someone would have done that for you. They're bastards, don't they? Yeah, them ones up here, I don't know what it was. I think, Tactical, I think they was fucking almost fucking bored and they had nothing to do. So they spent their whole entire time obsessed with me and my fucking brother. And yeah, and some some of them, there, there was one or two that was all right. I say all right, all right for a policeman because you can't, their job, their job means that if you're doing anything... You think this is a fucking joke? This ain't Kenny Camera. There's no hidden cameras. I'm being absolutely straight with you. A fucking joke?
I thought you'd have an office work then. Uh, their job is to basically take notes of what you're doing. You know, you know what I mean. So you have to be careful what you're doing. You know I mean, anyway. <laughs> I thought you was uh, doing something else, my friend. I need to have a fist in a minute. But yeah. Lewis said, I do need, do I need to send you, Lewis, if you send me an email now, when I get out there, I'll send you an invite straight away. Yeah. Stop it. Please. But yeah. For God's sake, please stop it. There's no more time. You've got to, please stop it. Stop it now. Stop it. 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 Shit lag. We'll go off in a minute. <clears throat> I'll go off in five minutes. Um, no, I I respect the police and any proper um, any proper policeman who does their job decently. That's fucking you know I can totally respect that. But um, the dodgy ones. That's that's like that's one of the most disgraceful things you can do. I think um, be a bank copper. It's it's you're worse than any criminal going. Because you are there, you're supposed to be helping people, and you're supposed to be the one who, when people need help, they can come to you. And if you're being a criminal doing that, then you're worse than any criminal. You know what I mean? Yeah. God <laughs> said it was five minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose. Carl said, yeah, I agree with, I agree, we need police. Yeah, you, you have to have police. You have to. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm laughing at our queen. Oh, shall I go now then? Okay. I'm going to have to play a video, though. Right, Lewis. Yeah, when I start, you'll be straight in then, mate. Um, let's show everyone the very first time me and Matai ever met and got married. Are we going to be happy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, that, hang on. We can get married now. <laughs> I still speak to ring. Oh, hold on. Won't... <laughs> yeah. Sam said, yes, my full title is Colonel Reverend Sam Wright. Bird Esquire. Oh, so you can marry us just for one day. Oh, nice. Yes. But it's only for one night, and then she's divorcing me, and then I can spend the rest of the um, the rest life. of the live streams <laughs> getting... Um, alimony funds. Getting al yeah, alimony donations. Uh, for, are we going to be like... Um, is it Joan Collins? That every time you come back, get married again, just for the... <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just for, for that day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, you know, because he's been married about 700 times, obviously. So every time we come back, we get married again for that night. <laughs> Just love to take the wedding. There was no good day. reason. Sadly, we're probably getting divorced in the morning. Here's yeah, the well, wedding ring. We'll be lucky to make it through it, the night. Look, this is just like... adding to the the terms of the divorce, by the way. Oh, I'm getting it. You've been trying to nick my sword. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is oh, a divorce settlement. Joke. <laughs> Mine is a divorce settlement. You're talking about what tattoos you... This is why we're getting divorced, you see. But well, remember his own wife's tattoo on him. <laughs> Bloody rude. That's Have a word with your mother. We got married tonight, but we've also got divorced already. Yeah, so. yeah. So all, and, all and there's the ring. He now needs money for alimony, so you need to... It's so I can do begging videos and get yeah, loads of yeah. donations. That's what it says on the actual court documents, the divorce documents. <laughs> How is it that I'm the bad party in there? No, you're not. Is it because I am a sparrow? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the mask, I think. It's the mask. Is it the crinkle cut cock? Did you get jealous? <laughs> you didn't, you, you, it's you the fact that she's she been, been trying to steal my sword all night. Oh, I think that's it what it was. <laughs> that's when we knew it was destined for failure. Are you being sarcastic or something, my son? <laughs> Just one of my least favourite things that happens to be sarcasm. <laughs> that was some good fucking uh, video work there. Yeah, that was me at my heaviest. And, um, yeah, I won't say the rest. There's not, you know, maybe not a bad way, but yeah. Oh, I thought my microphone wasn't plugged in then. <coughs> Oh, no, yeah. my queen is fucking awesome, mate. She's lovely. I'm going to see her soon. Spend a couple of weeks with my queen. Yeah, I was 17 stone then. <sighs> right, so yeah, two more minutes. And then I'm going to stop this live stream, start a new one. So just be aware, it'll take me like 10 minutes to start a new one. Don't you said, I remember a good cop. He caught dudes on mopeds by running. It was fair. 
cops like him can't exist anymore. Yeah, I a fair a fair decent copper JT. I fucking won under respect totally. I mean, um, yeah. It doesn't mean I tell them anything, though, because I know what their job is. You know what I mean? I know what their job is, and that's fair. Uh, <laughs> but, you know what I mean? But um, bent coppers are the fucking proper scum of the earth, mate. Proper scum of the earth. <laughs> Where's the massive bonfire? Not here. I may, have a, I may have a bonfire on my birthday night, though. Did anyone donate anything? Oh, tactical. I think he said he was getting a bit fucking uh, stroke crow bored. Does that look like anyone you know? Come on, yeah, I wouldn't piss on a bent copper. But well, yeah, but you know, a a proper decent one, yeah. Yeah, I used to have a lot of a lot of. Oh, look, for the people who don't know, I've I've never actually been arrested as an adult. So I, well, no, I have been arrested as an adult. I've never been convicted of a crime as an adult. Saying that, no, I have been arrested as an adult. My criminal record. As from the age of 15 to just before I was 21, I've probably been arrested, I don't actually know, 75, 100 times, maybe, maybe. I used to get a pair of this, right? I used to get arrested every Friday and Saturday. And there had been times where my mum would have to come down to the police station, get one of us out while she was getting, because I'm a twin, while she was getting me out or Malk. The other one was being bought into the police station. Well, fucking, well, the police. Listen, I remember getting followed by coppers all day in and out of college uh, and then getting stopped and searched for no reason, even outside my own house as I got out of the door. I had issues like, because the thing is, a lot of people complain about um, stop and search things, but the, the problem is, if you are the target demographic of the crime that's happening, that's going to happen to you. I used to get stopped and searched every single time I went out, purely because I was the one doing all the fucking shit. <laughs> you're a fool. 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 You're a flipping fool. Oh, I am a flipping fool. But yeah, that's my own fault. I used to get fucking stopped and searched all the time. But that's because Are I... Are you retarded? Because I'm the local criminal. Was the local criminal. Right, I'm getting ready to stop. I'm just getting my shit ready. Right. Tablet, phone. Take that out there. I need me internet. So, yeah, in a minute, um, I'll go outside and I'll start a new live stream. Turn this on now. Take that shit out with me. Because I need it. Can't leave them fucking bastard rats have eaten through my internet wire. I have to use my fucking Wi-Fi dongle now. Yeah, so give me a few minutes. I just need to go outside and reset up. Because I, you know, my mum's asleep below me. My sister and her husband are asleep in the room next to me. Um, so, yeah. Lewis, you coming on. Drops, you coming on. Top said, bring her back. Because apparently the rats are mental. <laughs> metal as well. Yeah, exactly. What about that little good luck kiss? Oh, no. No, not on the cheeks. On the lips. I mean, what are you, homophobic? <laughs> All right, hang on. Okay. All right. Let me just check no one's done any donations. Mike and drag again. You wait till you see spy files. Darkly said, I think of Mason rats every time. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Mason's rats. Yes. Oh, that was great, wasn't it, Tactical? Proper decent. Oh, what was that? I can't remember what that was called now. Um, Love, Death and Robots, wasn't it? <sighs> Thank you, Shane, by the way. He ain't going to hear this, but yeah, Shane's... Um, Shane has single-handedly kept me going for the last fucking three or four months, in all honesty, with donations. Fucking, yeah. Um, right. I'll see you all in about 15 minutes, yeah? All right? Thank you for watching, everyone. The people who don't... Matter, matter, matter. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Plot, plot, plot. Can I, can I, can I have a drink? 
for the people who don't come on, good night, everyone. And I'll um I'll see you all in a bit. I can see you calling a truce over a week. Like, yeah, you imagine. Yeah, I'll, I'll sh if they stop eating the chainsaws <laughs> and, the, and my bag out bag, they can have half my fucking um, carpeki. <laughs> you said I'm so because I'm still controlling myself what I say. Right. <laughs> That's all right, my queen. I'll see you all in a bit. So the people who are going to bed, good night. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I've had a really nice night tonight. And for the people who are coming back, See you in a minute. And if you send me an email now, you're more likely to get your invite straight away because I ain't got a fuck about emailing you, all right? See you in a bit. Good night, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back in 10 minutes, maybe. All right? See you in a bit. Good night. <laughs>